From that romantic summer evening in 1924 when Pol Pot was conceived, to the first time someone figured out how to eat a pineapple without ripping their mouth to shreds, this week in history. 1692, five citizens were executed after being convicted during the Salem witch trials. All while dozens of witches, warlocks, and sorcerers stood by and watched the wrongly accused take the rap for them, while the perfectly normal humans charged with witchcraft were publicly hung and dragged to their unmarked graves, the numerous Salem citizens that did spend their evenings casting spells and awakening the dead merely lowered their heads as their friends and neighbors were burned at the stake. Historical records have indicated that as many as 35% of the people in Salem were actually witches and warlocks. In fact, the executioner himself was a well-known necromancer who who, after hanging the wrongly accused witches, reanimated their dead bodies and apologized before casting them into the eternal fires of hell. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you'd like. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that you'll find there on the site. Those other talk show hosts, most of them in the business, want to charge you for their website. Ours is free. It's actually got a Reddit built right into the front page where you can submit content to us. Uh, that way we can know what you think is interesting and maybe talk about it on the radio. Of course, the best way to get your stuff talked about on the air is to call in and or Skype into the show. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. In fact, uh, we're going to go to Skype here shortly because we've got a call right out the gate. But on the, on the way tonight, uh, stuff to talk about, including the latest on the Silk Road 2.0 case. I teased it earlier this week, but we never really, uh, never really got to the story. Plus, a shocking, I think for some people, a shocking post uh, that has been made on Facebook about a school assignment, some sort of a school propaganda assignment that basically seems to be designed to brainwash children into loving the state. Uh, and so we can share the context of that with you. Plus, uh, in the studio with you tonight, you've got me, Ian. And Danica. And Daryl. Danica, welcoming Danica back to the show. I think it's your first time on the show with me here, but I believe you did a fill-in at one point. Yes, in the past. Um, I helped out with Stephanie and Brian being away. Uh, this was a couple of months ago, and unfortunately, Stephanie and Brian are no longer with us. Uh, and well, then, it's, was there? They're, uh, they're still alive. Well, yeah, they're doing yes, fine. but not with us <laughs> in, uh, on the show. They are alive and well, and uh, you know, on to other matters that might be more Absolutely. profitable for them. Uh, and in fact, Brian is still actually working in, in the sales department with Free Talk Live. Oh, wonderful. So, uh, yeah, so I know that you and Daryl also have some stuff that you're bringing to the table tonight, including the latest on the libertarians, or actually, I guess the libertarians are joining in to the food uh, ban, the ban on feeding people in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, we'll get that story. Plus, what what's the deal with tipping? Um, some people apparently have a problem with tipping, and I... I just think those people don't understand how the hospitality business works, and we can talk further about that when we get the chance. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We go first to Uber and Lyft George in the D.C. area. You're on Free Talk Live. I guess you could call me like Rideshare George, but anyway. <laughs> there you go. Rideshare George. That's perfect because you work for both of those organizations yeah. or work with them, I guess. How does yeah. that work? Don't they have like non-compete Apparently clauses? Apparently not. Uh, no, basically what it is is um, while I'm like between passengers, I can like um, have both on, you know, like be online for both. So if I get like a, a, a call, a request from like say an Uber pa uh, passenger, I got to go offline with Lyft and vice versa. Okay, makes, makes sense. sense. That's pretty cool that you can uh, have the freedom to go back and forth. Yeah, that way I get more runs in and make more money because they also cut um, – now, 15, Uber cut um, their prices 15%, which means they cut Ooh. my pay 15%. <laughs> like that. It reminds me of that article you guys did. We had me on for over an hour you know, talking about that L.A. Uber. They're, they're paying them only a buck seventeen a mile. Yeah, they, Sorry, cu they cut their rates dramatically from what it originally was, and a lot of the drivers felt like they were getting screwed. Because some of the drivers were really happy when they started with Uber, they were making a you know three something a mile, and then Uber slashes their rates in half or something ridiculous like that, and you know that's good for the customer, but for the people who are driving for them, it uh, it really brought the you know, sort of. 
price per hour, the dollars per hour that they were able to bring in very, very significantly downward. And uh, and a lot of these drivers put money into their cars. I mean, they're not, you know, when you drive for Uber or Lyft, you're driving your own car. And uh, the, the company is not shouldering any repair costs or anything like that. Uh, so for all of a sudden, you know, if you if you just spent... $10,000 getting a car that's new to you just so you could be a better driver, have a nicer ride or whatever and then all of a sudden then you know you're making half the revenue that you were previously. That's that's a big shot and there's yes. no there's no reason um I, I'm not surprised that people were upset about that. Now you're saying they've cut you 15% there in the, uh, yeah, the DC area. Yeah, that's the area. second time they've done it since I started. Mm. Right, Darren. So does that mean that you make more on a Lyft ride than an Uber ride? Uh, that's a good question. Right, there's probably now probably the same, maybe maybe just a little bit more. I haven't heard from about Lyft doing it. Hmm. But anyway, the main reason I called was um, about last night. You guys got into that nice World War II talk, and it's like I like to you know set the record straight. Like our greatest generation didn't go in there for high, the highest minded reasons. Um, with the whole thing about Japan, what it was. Although to be fair. Roosevelt did not think to do an attack for a harbor. He was expecting them, Japan, to invade the Philippines where all the oil was anyway. Okay. That's why he moved the ships out to Pearl Harbor so that they could respond quickly and kick, and kick their butt when they took the Philippines. And that's when he just like, and it was like an oops moment when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor because they didn't think they'd have that kind of cojones. Gotcha. Okay. And. And and yeah, but like, nonetheless, oh, he oh, did. Uh, you know, the, yeah. you you do believe in the McCullough memo that yeah, you know, they they yeah. did have the intention of maneuvering the Japanese into attacking something that would uh, sort of manipulate the United States and give them an excuse to declare war. Yeah, pretty much. Like I said, he was pretty much telling Japan, uh, yeah, he's like, come do something about it, and then we'll smack you down when you do it. You know, mm -hmm. that's why when he did the oil embargo, all the oil is coming from the Philippines, and um, that's why he moved the ships out, ships out to Hawaii, figuring that they tried to invade the Philippines. We'd be, um, we'd respond to time to kick their butts, but then they sunk our fleet right there, and we were unable to do anything about them taking the Philippines for a couple of years. And then it's important to remember that at the time. Hawaii was not a state. Hawaii was a territory of the United States government. Mm -hmm. Yep, much like Puerto Rico or Guam or stuff like that. Great. Uh, George, it, anything it, else it, you want to uh, clarify tonight? Mm, nah, that's pretty – oh, and, oh well, the, also in the European theater, like I said, a lot of Americans only got onto the bandwagon of you know fighting Hitler when they, Germany declared war on us. Like I said, our, our generation didn't even want to go to be involved in the, um, in the war in Europe. And um, it, our, it's like we only got involved for payback. That's it. You know, we, like the Japs hit us, we hit, we hit them back. And then and when, when Hitler said, all right, we've got to declare war here because of our um, treaty agreement or whatever that they had with Japan as an Axis power, they're like, okay, you want some of this? Fine. Bam, I'm going to hit you too. Now, George, just to clarify one thing, you said that the people didn't want to get involved. And – that's not entirely true because there were some people that wanted to get involved. There were well, some sure, Americans yeah. that wound up going to France, joining the French Foreign Legion. Mm. Oh yeah, and the British. Oh yeah, and, and, and also the British um, thing where they were um, doing the British like pilots. If you could be like the Eagle Squadron, they set up a pilot outfit there too. So yeah, there were some, but overall, um, you know, the, pop, the public opinion was over, over, still overwhelmingly against it. There were still some people wanted to go naturally because you know you can't say everybody's for or against you know one sure. thing. Yeah, well, um, that's pushing right. all that's this right. patriotism and all this war propaganda. Speaking of patriotism, I got something for that. Thanks, George. Appreciate your call tonight. Being a good citizen. This was posted uh, actually. J uh, John Bush from the uh, from the Liberty Beat put this on his profile. He wasn't the person who originated it, but uh, let's see. Andrew Washburn. Credit to that guy on Facebook. His daughter, Emma, brought home a handout from school. So this wasn't an assignment as much as it was, you know, just straight propaganda. Uh, Being a Good Citizen by EdHelper.com. And, uh, Daryl, you actually found this. I verified this. that that is an actual website, EdHelper.com. Yep. Wow. And I was able to find the link to where you can download this. You have to... 
have you know an account with edhelper.com mm-hmm. in order to actually download the complete sheet. But, but they do it. have the first three paragraphs, so I have confirmed that this is an actual thing. Correct, correct. This is something that a teacher actually did hand out. It's not manufactured by somebody who wanted to make the state look worse than they actually are. Uh, so I'm going to share this with you because just in case somebody's listening who just doesn't really understand the so I extent. I wanted to clarify that. When you say that it was sent out by a teacher, was it sent by an individual teacher or by a school system? Um, all it says here is Emma brought home some very interesting, a very interesting handout from school the other day. Uh, thank you, Fairfield Public Schools, for teaching my eight-year-old daughter all about her rights. So no, the rights really... come from government. Right. That, that's one of the things. I just that it wonder says if the there. if the teacher brought it upon themselves to issue it, or if it was the actual school. I imagine that they're the it same thing anyway. It seems pretty unlikely that this would come from just. I doubt this would go out to the entire school. It likely is some sort of a government class. Let, or let's talk about this class. a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah definitely. I, and I want to read the, the contents as well because some people might be shocked uh, by what you hear here in a moment. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-856-4195. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-856-4195. That's 1-800-856-4195. Call 1-800-856-4195. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today is October 29th, 2014. Gold opened at 1223.40. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1268.34, 634.17 for a half ounce, or 317.09 for a quarter ounce. That's 1268.34, 634.17, and 317.09. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase, and there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explained this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan? Penalties and interest killing you? Missing tax returns? Being garnished or levied? Not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the Tax Monkey now, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, that's 800-281-6030. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site, two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll free and bring up anything. 855 450 free. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. We've got a what for some people might be a shocking document that uh, has come out of some government school, and I imagine this is used on multiple government schools because uh, the content comes from a site called edhelper.com. It appears to be some kind of a teacher resource website. You have to have a subscription to this site, and you know you get different charts and bulletin boards and critical thinking things and there's all kinds of different categories of uh, you know worksheets and info to send home with kids and one of the sheets that apparently was sent home to a uh, young lady's parents not sure where Fairfield Public School District is but that's uh, where this happened Andrew Washburn posted it originally to Facebook saying his daughter brought this home and I'm just going to guess by the handwriting on here, you can see Emma, presume, presuming this is not the teacher who wrote Emma's name on the... What horrible penmanship uh, is so. <laughs> right, the, the paperwork. I'm just going to guess elementary school. Yes. I'm going to guess sure. elementary yeah. school uh, just based on the penmanship here. And so we'll share the, um, the, we'll share the, the details of what this thing says. And uh, you might be shocked by the the content. Coming up, uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. You uh, get the real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com offers up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com and get signed up for their free daily dispatch. That's freedomsphoenix.com. So this is a sh- uh, like a in- I wouldn't call it a worksheet. It's just like a propaganda sheet that was sent home uh, apparently with the kids being a good citizen. Well, from the edhelper.com website, this mm-hmm. is listed under reading comprehension, mm-hmm. and presumably there's some kind of test that goes with it to where you know they so they were studying something for a possible test. Right. So they they've got this thing and then. Presumably, there will be a test that says, you know, like, what does a good citizen do? Uh, it was written by Phyllis Negeli, and it has nine separate points. Point number one, what is a citizen? If you were born in the United States, you are a citizen. That means you are a member of our country. Sometimes people who are not born here want to become citizens. They do this by asking the government to make them a citizen. This is called immigration. Now, that seems pretty straightforward. You know, what's a citizen? Okay. It it actually says this is called naturalization. When somebody becomes an American citizen, they are naturalized. I'm sorry. I could barely read it. It's actually on the the worksheet. It was kind of scratched out. Right. I I was only able to make that out from the ED Helper website where they have the first three as a preview. Now these you know, what they make what they've claimed here in the first paragraph not too shocking not not shouldn't be too surprising uh, to anybody of course you know as we pointed out a number of times here on Free Talk Live there is no such thing as a citizen um, and they're not going to teach you that in government schools right. the reason why there is no such thing is because if you actually look up the definition of citizen uh, then I don't know if they go into the details on on what citizen actually means here besides all this political propaganda. The actual definition of citizen is one who owes a duty of allegiance in return for an obligation of protection, meaning that citizenship is supposed to be a deal. It's supposed right. to be a trade. It's supposed to be something you consent to. And uh, the thing is, if you look at various different Supreme Court cases, all you have to do, for instance, is Google 
no obligation to protect. Just Google that, and you'll find various different cases where the Supreme uh, Court— I've actually cited a few in court here in Keene. I forget the names of— uh, I, I There's one. It's uh, something v. Winnebago— uh, there's another one that I believe it's Hill v. D.C. Warren versus the District of Columbia is That's the it, first Warren. result that comes up, but it is by far not the only uh, result. The more you dig in, the more you'll find that there is no obligation for the government to do anything to not just protect you, but they have no obligation to provide you with welfare. They have no obligation to provide you with a roof over your head. They have no obligation to give you any kind of work or uh, anything at all. It's not just about uh, police protection, but that's certainly what has brought on a lot of lawsuits is where somebody will believe that the police should have come to their aid when they called them, and then the government courts have said, well, if they didn't come, sorry. There's nothing really you can do about it. You, They have no liability. They have no obligation to, to show up with any amount of time frame. They have no obligation to show up at all. I mean, they could tell you to go screw yourself, and you'd still have to pay the taxes. So that's why there's no citizen, because there's no, there's no obligation for them to protect you. So therefore, how could you possibly owe them a duty of allegiance if you know they don't owe you the other side back? Anyway, back to the uh, propaganda piece here. Point number two out of nine, when you're a citizen, you have rights. Oh, really? Well, does that imply that if you aren't a citizen that you don't have rights? That certainly seems to be what it implies. But the next sentence, Ian, Mm -hmm. is very shocking. Please read. Rights are special privileges that the government gives you. Wow. Right. So rights aren't rights. Rights are privileges. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of really bad information in that just that one <laughs> sentence. Uh, what's the difference between a right and a privilege? A right is something that you have inherently, as in you have a right to breathe air. You have a right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. You mm-hmm. have a right to the property that you can defend. Right to free speech, right to bear arms. These are two big ones. Yes. Uh, privileges are things that you don't necessarily have a right to do inherently that some entity has designated, okay, you can do this, but only as long as you have this piece of paper. A classic example of a privilege would be driving, although there's a strong argument that you should have a right to drive as well. Right. Um, historically, governments have acno- have acknowledged driving as a privilege uh, that they can grant and remove at any time. Now, again, I think there's a strong argument that you have the right to travel, and that's a whole other discussion. But uh, to suggest that all rights are, in fact, special privileges, they are not, in point of fact, rights they're just a different form of privilege uh, that is granted more wholesale by some sort of government document. And they are given to you. You don't have them inherently. You only have rights because a government decided to give you the right. Mm-hmm. You are also given the right, they say, to choose a religion. In America, the press is free to tell you what is happening in the world. The Bill of Rights lists the freedoms given to citizens. These rights are very important. Many people in the world do not have freedoms like we do. Now, the Bill of Rights uh, doesn't list freedoms given. It doesn't say anything about, We, the framers of the Bill of Rights, have deemed upon you the right to do such and such and so and so. There's no language like that in the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. Um, They... Are supposedly the idea was, and this is my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, the idea behind the Bill of Rights was that these were going to be the rights that the government of the United States respected, that they were going to not touch these rights, you know, the right to privacy, the right to bear arms, the right to religion, free right. speech. And the Ninth Amendment says that the enumeration of rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage other rights retained by the people. So we'll come back with more here in moments. That was suggesting that they didn't lay them all out. Right. right? Uh, so there's more coming up here of this shocking document that may be handed to your kids in government school.
Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When the cleaners ruined some special clothing, all they could do was show us a sign that said they weren't responsible. But when they got the letter from one of our Legal Shield attorneys, he promptly gave us a check for $1,152. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs... You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of... Where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because... I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll share more of this, what could be shocking to you, document uh, sent home by one government school district. And maybe at least one. Yeah, maybe that far we more know than, of. Yeah, it could be far more than one, uh, you know, created by some sort of 
educational website for uh, teachers. Anyway, we'll uh, get back to that. There's nine points. We were through two of the nine points on this propaganda info. We'll get back into that here in moments. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. ISIS crisis or more hype? Antiwar.com has the answers, the facts, and the readership, but what Antiwar.com doesn't have is a pot of gold. The war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press and the mainstream media behind them. All Antiwar.com has is you. Their staff at Antiwar.com is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay, and they're committed to keeping the website online with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do it for free and they can't do it without you. They need your donation. Please go to antiwar.com and donate today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin. That's antiwar.com slash donate because war is the health of the state. Ian Danica and Daryl in the studio here tonight. We actually just got a collect call, actually prepaid, thank goodness, because I don't know how much money it costs to take collect calls from people in federal prison. But we have uh, Matthew who's calling from Marion, Illinois. I presume you're listening to Monster Radio there uh, in Marion, Matthew. Yes, I am. And uh, you are listening inside a federal penitentiary. Uh, you're on Free Talk Live. Absolutely. Yeah, I was just calling in. Uh, I get your broadcast later in the night, so I was calling in about some things I heard early in the week. Sure. Um, the, uh, you guys were talking about the motel room searches and, and searches and so forth of houses and who can let the police in. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, the renter of the motel room uh, is is can prevent the police from coming in, but they have to state that they are the one that rented the motel room. Okay. If another person's trying to let them in. So this was a a question that uh, we had had in a a conversation about you know your right to refuse police entry. Of course, what I recommended, and I'm not an attorney. Uh, so it's not legal advice, but uh, what I would suggest doing is not answering the door at all. But the question came yeah. up, what if somebody else in the household or hotel room or wherever, what if somebody else who's a guest there, unknowingly, not knowing their rights, not knowing about the, how to deal with the police, goes ahead and answers the door? And uh, so what you're saying is your understanding is if you are present as the homeowner or the renter, the person in charge of the property, you can sort of state that and move the police back out onto uh, the public area, not right. inside. The- right, but I, and I also wouldn't suggest not answering the door if they if if they know you're in there, because then they'll claim that they that there's some sort of emergency. They that could they, that someone that someone could be getting chopped in little pieces or something inside the house. They just yeah, but they'd have to. I mean, that would have had to have been the reason for the call, right? Right, like- right. Have, yeah. So, like, if they're just there to sniff out and try to ask you questions about a, a potential drug deal or something like that, then they wouldn't be able to use the exigent circumstances to push their way in. I hope not. But. Right. But remember, <laughs> there was the Supreme Court ruling. I don't remember if it was earlier this year or late last year where the court ruled that if someone who has a right to the property, whether it be, you know, one of the joint tenants mm-hmm. or joint landowners, if that person refuses and then they leave for any reason, even if it's being arrested for disobeying an officer and another person that has a right to be at the property agrees to the search, then the search can go ahead Yeah, I've heard because that the too. person that refused was no was longer there. there. Right. Yes, that's true. I, I saw that case. And, uh, I'll call in about about my issue sometime later. The, the other thing I wanted to mention was the uh, – you guys have been talking about the this, this Silk Road and these new startups that are somewhat similar. Yeah. Whether they could be a federal setup, this is absolutely so. There are many oh, yeah. people – there are many people in this federal prison right here right now who were pulled in um, on the Internet and entrapped for various things, uh, child pornography, uh, identity theft stuff. Um, Anything, anything that's available on the internet, the, the government uh, operates many honey traps. Hmm. And one of the other methods is when they catch somebody doing something like this, like say they're selling identity theft, uh, you know, like people's credit card numbers. Right. What they'll do is they'll they'll take over the person's computer, they'll mirror their hard drive, and continue to operate while this person's already in prison. Wow. And they just continue the the uh, operation. So they themselves are spreading, uh, you know, 
pornography and things yes, like that. Absolutely. They are the biggest distributor of child pornography on the Internet, hands down. There's nobody that the, the, the United States government distributes more than anyone else. Incredible. But they're also putting your credit, I mean, they're, they're using your credit card. Well, I mean, I'm, you personally, but your credit card number for bait um, out there with the identity theft type stuff. Because they, they operate this. Uh oh. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear when it plays that recording, but yeah. um, they, they continue the enterprise because the person already has this reputation on the internet. You talk about these names, you know, like, you know, Dark Guy One or whatever, and, and he's been doing this business. That way the government operates off the, the guy's street cred, so to speak. I see what you mean. Yeah, they just assume his personality. Very interesting. And, you know, and I, like you said, I'm sure you would like to tell your story as well. Matthew, thanks for your call tonight, man. And I look forward to hearing from you again and, uh, and appreciate hearing from you tonight. Our uh, toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. So, yeah, I mean, even if you're behind bars, we will take your calls here on Free Talk That's Live. That's great. Is, is it the first time that anyone's ever called from a federal prison? Federal prison? Maybe. Maybe. I know we've had people in prison contact the show. Usually they'll write us mm -hmm. uh, some physical mail. Um, so I would say that may be the first time someone's called from federal prison. We've because the phone number that he was calling is not a public phone number. Right. So, you know, he, he gave him that number. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sure he he would have had to number. have been given that number from somebody that knew the number. Right. Uh, well, actually, the number he called is public if you know how to find it, but it's not <laughs> It's not a number that we give out on the on the radio. So, yeah, that's interesting and always, uh, always great to hear from somebody on the inside uh, of the system. I know it sucks uh, to be in there, but uh, all things considered, the phone call quality was decent. Oh, like, yeah. Yes. A lot of jail phones really suck. I mean, sometimes when you're on a jail phone, it's really scratchy and there's a lot of static and, you know, you can tell that they don't really spend much time upgrading the phone systems over time. Um, maybe they've got a new phone system there in Marion, Illinois, but it's a good thing we're on Monster Radio because otherwise he wouldn't have heard the show, wouldn't uh, be able to tune in. So that's one of the nice things about being on the radio, in, in the radio world, is that you yeah. don't get internet in federal prison, but, uh, well, I, I guess that's not true. You do have access to email, uh, from what I understand, because we used to communicate with uh, Mark Emery, the Prince of Pot, via email, so... I don't think you get actual internet in federal prison. You certainly don't get live audio streaming. It's probably just limited to certain sites, correct? I don't know if internet's available at all in federal prison. I know email is available. Oh, There's okay. a limitation on the number of people to whom you can send emails. Sure, yeah. You can have a certain amount of, uh, at any given time, you can have up to a certain number of people in your contacts list. And that's how, that's how it works. And then you spend, I think it's per minute, I think they charge you per minute to use their email system. Yeah, federal. sounds about right. Yeah, uh, it's different though. Locally, they just started doing emails in the Keen Spiritual Retreat within the last year, and here it's actually cheaper than that. They don't do a per minute fee; it's like a monthly or a weekly fee, and you get a certain number of emails that you can send within that fee. And so it's great to see that happening uh, to give people inside prison, even though it's a to some extent, could be an expensive process. At least it's an option for them to be able to reach out to more people on the outside without having to use collect phone calls. Uh, Mark is in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Mark. Never know where it, this show is going to go. This is, that was a great call. Yeah, go ahead, I, sir. Unfortunately, I had a brother uh, served eight years. Yikes. Uh, wow. Mass loader charge. And b being in prison is terrible. It's, 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 ter it's, it's horrible. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, we got you, man. In fact, yeah, we're going to give you more time here in a moment, so hang on. We'll find out what you're calling about uh, with Mark in New York and your calls as well are welcome. 855-450-FREE. Plus, we'll continue the propaganda sheet sent home with students uh, recently at a government school district. Do you live with stress? If you have nervousness or common everyday anxiety, we're looking for you. Because right now, we're sending risk-free supplies of a fast-acting supplement to listeners of this station. You heard right. Every listener who calls right now will learn how to get a risk-free bottle of Stress Block, a naturally derived formula that promotes feelings of calmness, alertness, and focus in just moments. Supplies for this risk-free offer are limited, so don't wait. Stress Block is a fast-acting, non-prescription formula to support relaxation without causing drowsiness. Your nervousness is guaranteed to begin fading like magic in just minutes. This special risk-free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. 
Call us now for this exclusive Stress Block risk-free offer. To get your risk-free supply of Stress Block, call 1-800-481-1288. That's 1-800-481-1288. 1-800-481-1288. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. The chimpanzee spends most of its day in the jungle, carelessly swinging from tree to tree and picking mites off itself, instead of building shelter and teaching itself how to read. This chimp is named Bolo, and researchers at Duke University have shown that he can solve three-dimensional logic puzzles, an impressive feat indeed, until you learn that human children as young as three are also able to solve the puzzle. Even a mentally handicapped human is capable of verbal speech, something no chimpanzee has ever been able to accomplish, despite working vocal cords capable of howling in irritation after soiling itself. Chimps have been observed using tools, but their tools are little more than sticks. Even driving and preparing pancakes, tasks we leave to the stupidest, least educated humans, lay beyond the capabilities of the chimp. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You are invited to dial in toll-free and take control of the airwaves here. Bring up anything that you'd like. Still to come, we got seven more points on a nine-point info sheet sent home with elementary schoolers at Fairfield Public School District. I'm not sure which uh, town that is or city or whatever, but uh, it's somewhere in the United States, and it could be where you live. This is a document that is provided by edhelper.com, and we'll continue it here in a moment. Some people will be shocked by the propaganda contents of it. With you in the studio tonight, by the way, tonight it's Ian. And Danica. And Daryl. Let's go right back to your calls and thoughts. We've got Mark in New York. Uh, Mark, you barely had a chance to get your thoughts out there uh, just a moment ago, so go ahead. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, it. It's sort of off topic, but we can. when that fellow calls in from the prison, talk about the cartel of the phone companies that charge exorbitant rates to poor folks who have relatives in prison. and how Oh, yeah. They get you over a barrel in there. They'll charge you. Uh, they'll charge whatever they damn well please. And yeah, not only are they really stealing hard. away the years of your life, but stealing money too. Oh yeah, it never Absolutely. ends. I, I told you before the break. I went through the process with a, my brother. It was uh, just sad, but uh, happily he's out and he's very productive now. And uh, but it's just in. No, we don't want to go here. What I wanted to call about was I was at my local gym today working out, and on the machine that I use, I I read 
Reason magazine, and maybe you've seen it. If you didn't, I'm I'm, I'm happy to tell you. Brian Doherty wrote a column about uh, uh, Bitcoin and Silk Road because the other mm, fellow okay. started off by speaking about Silk Road. Yeah. And on page 54, it happens to mention that uh, um, Silk Road and Bitcoin's first um, uh, aware became aware surprising unsurprisingly on a libertarian movement radio show called Free Talk Live <laughs> on March 17th Wait, of 2011. What what's it's the claim that about Free Talk Live that who um, became aware? You guys, of you guys mentioned how. Bitcoin would be a killer app. Uh, I'm sorry, Silk Road was a killer app for Bitcoins. I, yes. I know reading is the bane of talk radio, but if I could just go on, it says, host Ian Freeman had poked around Silk Road at a time when it had 151 registered users, 38 listings for sale, and only 28 completed transactions, and he saw wow. its promise. This could be a killer app for Bitcoins, he said, since it allowed people to get physical products that are normally not fairly difficult to obtain on the black market if you don't know anyone selling it. It's, it's, it just talks about you. Know, and That's great. I didn't remember being on it that early. Wow. <laughs> you know, with only yeah. 150 users? How would I have known that? I don't even know yeah, about that. Somebody probably on. called in and mentioned yeah, it, and you poked around on it. Well, no, we saw news about it, I think, was, was what it was. But I don't remember. I don't know how I would have known how many users the site had. That seems right. like. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to get that information. Maybe I could have uh, seen how many listings there were. You can see how many people are listing, or you can see how many listed products there are, but that doesn't tell you how many users there were. Maybe there were 150 listings. Because, like, the average user on the Silk Road couldn't just go pull up a list of all the members. You know, you can't right. you can't get that info. Right, but just because it tells you we have this many members doesn't mean that here's the you know, info for all of the members. No, I'm just saying it's never given that information out to the public. Okay. You know, I don't know where that one came from, but it's it's interesting that they cited that as, uh, you know, as a source. Yeah, she, she's writing a book about uh, Silk Road, El Eileen Ormsby. She's an mm. Australian author. Oh, wow. And it, it said that really quick, it, it went on to say that you prophetically joked that, quote, someone is listening horrified. Like, I can't believe you're talking about how people go about purchasing drugs on the Internet, unquote. And um, it's just, it's great. I mean, you you brought down Silk Road, pal. You're just... uh, I don't think I brought down Silk Road. Uh, I have no intention of bringing down Silk Road. I love the Silk Road, and uh, I think that it's an awesome service to humanity. I know that there is a Silk Road, a site claimed to be Silk Road 3.0 already, as a matter right. of fact. And to, to give me credit for bringing down the Silk Road is uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It was already getting news coverage by the time I found out about it. So we were only responding to the existing coverage that it had already uh, well, I garnered. was saying that jokingly, but yeah. you, you mentioned in the magazine, and uh, I'll call again. Thanks. Guys. Hey, thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to think for a moment that, that I have any kind of intention to bring harm to the Silk Road operators. In fact, we, uh, Danica, you, and Derek J. threw a very successful Halloween costume contest during Keenvention. Yes. And the goal of that party was, and it was good, it was a lot of fun, the goal of the party was to fundraise for the defense of Ross Ulbricht, who is the man accused of being the original uh, Dread Pirate Roberts, the alleged operator of Silk Road 1.0. So, yeah, definitely a supporter of the Silk Road. Yeah, absolutely. So it just <laughs> it's very laughable to think that you would want to do anything against the Silk Road. And, you know, it, it was just wonderful being able to tell everybody, hey, we are going to be raising money for this campaign that we feel very strongly about Ross. We feel very strongly about what he did. We, we think he's innocent. And, you know, telling, you know, I don't like cover charges either going anywhere. But when I'm telling people, hey, all that money that you're paying, that's going to a good cause. This is the cause that's going to. And people are just like, oh, hey, here, show up and take my money. Now, I don't know. I wouldn't go so far as to say I think Ross is innocent. Uh, I mean, maybe he did run the Silk Road. Mm. I don't know. Um, but I don't think if he did run the Silk Road that he's a criminal. I don't think sure. that he's done anything wrong. I don't think that he's harmed anyone else. I don't believe the claims that he organized, uh, right. you and, know, hits on people. And he certainly, you know, he certainly doesn't deserve to be locked up when they're claiming that he ran the Silk Road. When, oh look, so the Silk Road popped up weeks after he was arrested. So, Silk Road two point Yeah. Yeah, well, I, we don't. I don't think Blake Benthal, the man accused of running Silk Road 2.0, had any connection necessarily directly to Ross Ulbricht. He may have been one of the administrators on the original website. That's certainly a possibility. And there's actually news about what happened with Silk Road 2.0 since we brought it up. I'll give you that here in a moment. But first, we go to Pete, listening in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Pete. 
Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you know, like, uh, no victim, no crime, you know. Uh, I was listening to the Bill of Rights stick you gave before, and I agree that, you know, I think that critical element you, may, you missed, though, was, you know, the, the rights are endowed by our creator, you know. Jesus gave us our rights. Huh? Is Jesus your creator? You're darn right he is. It says that nothing I thought was Jesus was he... Christian savior. No, he's God. He always has been and always will be. Well, it says that Jesus nothing was made that was made unless he made it, you know? This is a point so of anyway, confusion in the Christian religion, uh, Danica, and we do actually have someone who might describe himself as a Christian in the room here tonight. Uh, Christians do tend to believe that God is sort of this triune thing where it's, you know, God, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right. Um, You're darn right. You which get three for the price of one. makes it sound like that there's a, <laughs> that there's a difference between the three, um, but... I guess that the claim is that Jesus is God, right, Daryl Perry? Right. So Jesus right. is both God and the Son of God, mm. and the Holy Spirit is sort of a third uh, sort of incarnation, if you will, even though there is no physical presence of the Holy Spirit. But it, it's I, I, I've heard it described almost like an egg. There's the shell, there's the yolk, and then there's the other part. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I forget well, what the other part is called, but all three parts are an egg. Yeah. But there's three it parts of it. Together. You can't break the the uh, what's the it's the shell of the egg. They all have to be together. You know, when you get one, you get the other two automatically. So. You have Jesus, you have the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Doesn't so anyway, that basically, another, another I mean, isn't it essentially a quibble then? I mean, the, this whole triple God idea, the the division that doesn't really exist, it's what you're arguing for right now, Pete, is that they're all together, uh, inseparable. Yeah. Doesn't that essentially mean there's really just one God? And, you know, his name is Jesus Christ. They're all together. You can't have one without the other. They're all together. So are you acknowledging that uh, there is only one God or that there are three? They are all God. It's just kind of a tricky thing, right? Because this is one of the differences yeah. between being a Muslim and a Christian is that the Muslims believe that there's a, you know, just one God, that God is this one thing, um, that Jesus was a prophet but wasn't necessarily any well, more God yeah. than anyone else. Uh, but well, here's the difference. Yeah. The difference, the, the Muslims believe that it's based on your works that you're saved. We believe that by God's sovereign grace, because nobody can do enough good stuff, that if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, for those who the Father gave to Christ, you know, that... Uh, well, that, I don't take uh, my advice on what Muslims believe from you, Pete, but thanks for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If I want to know what Muslims believe, I'll talk to a Muslim. And, and there are you know, some people that claim to be Christians that think that you also have to, in addition to believing that Yeshua is the Messiah and the Savior, that you also have to do works. Mm -hmm. So th there's conflict even within Christianity of what one must actually do in order to be a quote-unquote real Christian. You can share your thoughts toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Danica, what, uh, do you have a religion or not? Uh, I, I was raised in a very conservative Christian household. I um, identify myself mostly as uh, agnostic now. Agnostic, okay, so not sh not sure. Right? Is that what the you know, don't you really care? That? Don't care. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll continue on here with the latest on the Silk Road. The also propaganda sheet that we started at the beginning of the hour. We'll continue that here in moments. What's being handed out in government schools? You'll find out coming up. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. 
Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keenan Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, November 14th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.36 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,151 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $407. Antiwar.com reports the next time your cell phone connects to what it thinks is a cell tower, there's decent odds it's actually connecting to a Justice Department airplane in the region designed to spy on you. New reports out of the Wall Street Journal say that the program has been active since 2007 and relies on Boeing-made dirt boxes that trick cell phones into giving up their identification numbers and location. Officials are refusing so far to comment on the extent of the program as in keeping with their long-standing effort to keep such shady activities secret, but those familiar with it say that the routine flights cover most of the U.S. population. Nominally, the flights are run by the Justice Department's U.S. Marshal Service as a way to search for criminal suspects. In practice, it is the mother of all fishing expeditions, with each flight netting tens of thousands of cell phones' data. The surveillance program takes advantage of cell phones' automatic connection to the closest, strongest tower. Since the dirt box is in a plane instead of in orbit, it is naturally much closer and stronger and catches all cell phones in the area. There is no known protection against such surveillance at this time. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The French news agency AFP reports the head of the Catalan government held talks with other senior politicians on Thursday on whether to hold early elections in the Spanish region after a symbolic weekend independence vote. Arthur Moss of the center-right CIU party, which has ruled Catalonia since 2011, discussed the possibility with the head of the left-wing opposition ERC, which props up his government. The ERC, which leads in opinion surveys, is pushing for early elections in the wealthy northeastern region. Elections were not due before 2016. If pro-independence parties win a majority of the seats in the region assembly, the ERC wants them to make a unilateral declaration of independence. Of the 5.4 million voters aged over 16 who were authorized to vote, 1.86 million favored independence. Moss declared the vote a total success and now wants the central government to allow Catalonia to hold an official independence referendum similar to the one held in Scotland in September. The no side won that referendum. Spain's conservative prime minister on Wednesday dismissed the referendum, which was organized by volunteers as an act of political propaganda to which two out of three Catalans paid no attention. Moss wants all parties which back an official referendum to contest a regional election jointly as a way of allowing voters to express support for an independence poll. 
You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for t-shirts, precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Reuters reports President Barack Obama plans to announce an overhaul of U.S. immigration policy through executive action that would shield up to 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation, according to the New York Times. Such a move will set up a showdown with Republicans who have blocked Democrats' efforts in Congress to reform immigration laws and warn the president not to take unilateral action on immigration. The Times, citing unidentified administration officials with direct knowledge of the plan, said Obama's proposed overhaul may be announced as soon as next week. Officials said it would allow many parents of children who are U.S. citizens or legal residents to obtain work documents and stay in the United States. Obama told congressional leaders on Friday he was committed to using executive power to ease some restrictions on undocumented immigrants since Republicans in the House of Representatives have refused to advance immigration legislation. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Florida officials announced today its plan to experiment with new 600 lever voting machines. The machine operates through a very straightforward process that we think is going to give Floridians the peace of mind that their votes will be counted. The voter turns on the machine using these 30 levers at the top and uh, then enters their names and social security numbers using the alphanumeric levers near the bottom here. Right about now, the voter is going to have to find the two levers on the machine that are exactly identical and pull them at the same time. Uh, uh, then they're going to have to the new 22 foot tall steam powered machines which officials are hailing as quote the future of voting each feature over 45 separate panels of levers along with an intricate series of valves knobs cranks and pumps all designed to streamline the electoral process. Now, some of this may seem confusing, but every voter will be given a comprehensive 2,200-page manual when they enter their precinct that will explain exactly what to do. This is the Onion News Network. The reason that Funny or Die is doing this, honestly, which is that... This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. All you have to do is dial in toll-free. We, in the first hour of the show, started sharing with you what is not, it's not really a worksheet, but it's just like a propaganda info sheet uh, that was sent home with some school children, and uh, so they look fairly young, probably elementary schoolers, uh, at Fairfield Sc- Public Schools. Emma brought this home to her parents. It's called Being a Good Citizen. And we started sharing the nine points with you on this list. We got through two of them. Uh, The second point was that rights they claim are special privileges the government gives to you, which, of course, is a total bastardization of the idea of rights in the first place, as we were discussing. And by the way, the we tonight is me, Ian. Danica. And Daryl. As we were discussing in the first hour, your rights are inherent uh, as you know, because of the fact that you are a human being and you live, that you have rights. Now, there's an argument. You know, did God give you the rights, or is it just you know an agreement between humans? Uh, that's something that nobody can really know for sure. But I think most people uh, like the idea of rights, and maybe they don't understand the concept fully. But governments can't give you rights, and the reason for that is because governments are just men. Right. Right. So governments are men and women just like you and I. And so they can't grant uh, uh, other human beings cannot bestow upon you something that they themselves don't have to give. Right. So if if human beings by default do not have rights and it takes a government to bestow rights upon human beings, aren't the governments created by the human beings? And so which case uh, in which case, how is it that the rights come about from the creation of the government if indeed the government is made up of human beings? Oh, because, you know, to the people that love the state, they would say that rights only exist when people organize into government. So no right exists 
until a government is created. So until a government, so by their argument then, what you're saying is that until humans come together to create government, no rights exist, so then it's the state of nature, everybody can kill everybody else, there's no reciprocal uh, respecting of of rights or even a concept of that, but then all of a sudden, when men come together to form a criminal gang that then uses the aggression, uh, you know, aggressive force against their neighbors, which of course is what they're supposed to be protecting us from right. uh, in the first place, then we have rights? Yes. Yeah, that makes total sense. As George Carlin said, uh, or no, actually it was Bill Hicks, you have the right to do as we tell you. And that brings us to number three on this list of how to be a good citizen. Number three, because government gives us rights, we have the duty to be good citizens. But what does it mean to be a good citizen? How can you be part of giving back for the freedom that you have? Uh, so again, in, they're you know, reinstituting this idea that government gives you the rights and then bastardizing the actual definition of citizen to suggest that the deal is that you have a duty to be good in return for rights. Yes. Which is not, in point of fact, what a citizen is. As we pointed out in the last hour, a citizen is someone who owes a duty of allegiance in return for an obligation of protection. So not the same thing. But then again, what do you expect from a government school? This is just straight-up propaganda. Number four on the list, being a good citizen means you show your love to the country, to your to country. To your country. You can do this by being courteous to the symbols in America. Singing our national anthem and respecting our flag are ways to show how much the United States means to you. Which is funny because a lot of people really should not be pledging allegiance to this flag because of just Why not? The, the darkness that's behind the Pledge of Allegiance. Meaning what? Well, first of all... we. The original Pledge of Allegiance, instead of placing your hand over your heart, it was very similar to the Nazi salute. Yeah, but the Nazis borrowed the, that. What you're actually saying is that the— uh, And Bellamy borrowed it from, from the, the Romans. It, it was right. the Roman salute. Correct. So first it was the Roman salute. Then Francis Bellamy, the author of the Pledge of Allegiance, used that— for his salute to the flag. Yeah, it would be nice. Then that, the Nazis took it on. Well, it would be nice if we could associate that with the Roman salute, just like we could. We, we wish that we could associate the swastika with, I believe, it's a Sanskrit. Um, That's true. Yeah, symbol. the Nazis I mean, didn't just, come up with the swastika. I mean, unfortunately, the, the Nazis they reversed just messed it. They messed up for everybody. Unfortunately, and also the Bellamy salute, the palm was placed in an upward-facing manner instead of in a downward-facing manner. But the Pledge of Allegiance also has racist and sexist roots, if you think about it, because when the Pledge of Allegiance came about, they didn't grant you know any rights to women or or slaves. Yeah, that's a good point. So, well, there know. weren't slaves when the Pledge of Allegiance came about. That's true. It was what 1890s when the pledge the came around. 1890s. Yeah. But you know, there may not have been slaves, but they still weren't giving African Americans the right to vote, right to do very much of anything. They technically had the right to vote, but that was being prevented in a lot of places. I, I completely understand sure, where yeah. you're coming from, but let's talk about some of the horrible deeds that were done where military soldiers waved the American flag and ships were, you know, doing, you know, had slaves on them and the American flag was on that ship. The Atlantic slave trade the Confederate States of America flag never flew over a slave ship. The American flag, the United States of American flag, did, in fact, fly on slave ships. The KKK's official flag isn't the Confederate flag. It's the United States flag. Yeah, that I did know. There's the picture from, I believe it's 1920, where the Klan had this giant march in Washington, D.C., and every flag that you see is a United States of America flag. So there have been horrible things done in the name of America. There was also the uh, slaughter of Native Americans. In addition to slavery, there was the internment of Japanese Americans during World War II in well, the name of America. You can do horrible things as long as it's in the name of America, then it's totally okay. I mean, I'm surprised the document here doesn't actually go on to be that detailed. Like, you know, if you want to love your country, show your love for your country, then, you know, you can do horrible things like join the military and kill innocent people mm -hmm. all around the globe. Um, they don't go that far, 
but they do say that you need to show your love to your country. And this is really, a, it's almost like religious doctrine. I mean, because the they're really talking about worshiping symbols here. I mean, they, they yes. say you can do this by being courteous to the symbols in America, singing the national anthem, respecting the flag, doing the Pledge of Allegiance as you're asked to do, or in and, some and cases demanded. And making sure that the flag never touches the ground. Uh, one of their other silly rules, it has to have a light well, on it at nighttime or something. Like something that. like that. Yes. Well, and under that religious pretense, like you were saying, the under God problem, because you know, the under God part is added in the 1950s. That's correct. And, you know, and you know, let's take into consideration, not everyone believes in God. And just you know, the uh, that's totally you know pushing out people too. Oh no! And doubt. also the indivisible part. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like there's a bunch of people that believe in secession, so you're mm. sort of you know pushing them out. No, this country's indivisible; can never be split apart ever, ever, ever. Absolutely. Number five on the list: uh, being a good citizen also means obeying the laws in your community and school. Laws are made to help you and keep you safe. Obeying the law also shows your respect for others. You can also treat people with kindness. Being friendly to those who are different from you is also part of being a good citizen. Perhaps there is someone new at school. One way to be a good citizen is to be welcoming to that person. Unless the person you know, might not have all of the Their documents yeah. that uh, somebody wants them to have. And then, then you need to not be kind to them. You need to ship them back to you know, whatever country they came from. And if they happen to be Sikh... That that's a religion that's mm-hmm. popular in you know like some of the eastern portions of the Middle East, and a bunch of ignorant Americans think that those people are Muslims. Then don't be nice to them because you're a xenophobic racist a hole. You know you you should kill them because you think that they may have been the guy that may have possibly flown an airplane into the trade center, even though those actual people are dead. Uh, don't be nice to them, but be nice to other people that look like you. What, I w- what I'd like to know about this uh, paragraph is, when was it that a law was actually made to help anyone who you know isn't some sort of corporate contractor with the federal government? Murder. We, we, we wrote a law against murder. That's why it doesn't happen to you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got more to go on this propaganda sheet. We'll continue at Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800 691 6129. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. 
and they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us on our website at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. Uh, on the house. So once again, go to freetalklive.com. Bitcoin is still on the rise. And to prove it to you, you can head down to the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference coming up in downtown Austin, March 28th through the 29th this coming March. It's going to be at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin. I'm excited because last year was pretty good for the first year, but the location left something to be desired. It was kind of out in uh, the middle of nowhere outside of Austin at a racetrack. Now they're moving it right into the heart of downtown Austin. Very excited to uh, to be there because that's where all the food and you know fun Yeah, uh, Austin's is. really cool, so it's neat that they're moving it into the city. It's going to be loaded up with the best and the brightest speakers, the latest exhibitions in the Bitcoin universe, as well as hosting the second million dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. They have invited the entire Texas legislature to allow them to see firsthand that not enacting complicated regulations encourages innovation and job creation. The Texas Bitcoin Conference is going to prove that Bitcoin is a force for good. If you're knee-deep in Bitcoin or just interested, it's going to be the place to be on March 28th and 29th, along with a kickoff event on the 27th. And right now, uh, they're even doing a white papers call if you've got an idea to make this community grow. We were there last year, Free Talk Live broadcast from the event, and it was phenomenal. We're looking forward to being part of it again coming up in 2015. So you can go get your tickets at texasbitcoinconference.com or at the very least mark your calendar right now for March 28th and the 29th because from what I'm told, we will have a discount code coming up. So we don't have that code yet. Stay tuned for that. The second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference. You don't want to miss it. Our toll-free number here tonight is 855-453-FREE. Let's go. And Before we continue with the being a good citizen, nine points, uh, as was distributed at the Fairfield Public School District and probably maybe even your local town. Uh, you know, Who knows how widespread this document is, but it's definitely being given away at government schools. We've got Trey on the line with us. Uh, Trey, you're on Free Talk Live calling from Oregon. Hey, folks. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to clarify the uh, Bellamy salute and that it never actually showed up in um, in actual Roman history. Uh, the first place it shows up is uh, a painter called Jacques-Louis de, uh, David, I guess his name is pronounced. But, um, yeah, and then we started seeing it in, I think, movies from the 30s, or for, rather from the um from like the late 40s and the 50s, um, or maybe it was the 30s and the 40s, uh, you know, old black and white films that were like, you know, set during Roman times. And I think that's where the perception of 
um, it haven't been having been heavily heavily used by like Roman soldiers and stuff like that as an actual salute. But it never was. There's no literature huh. or or actual um, art from antiquity that uh, supports that. So wait, I thought you said there was a painting. Maybe I misunderstood. No, no, there's a painting from this guy. His name is Jacques Louis de, um, David, and I, uh, from 1784. Yeah, 1784. Yeah. Is that so, where Francis Bellamy found out about it? Do you think? I mean, how did he uh, appropriate that? that? That that may be that may be um, that's that's the most likely cause hmm. I th- uh, or place I think. Interesting. Thanks for clarifying yeah. that, Trey. Yeah, Anything else you want to share tonight? Yeah, I, I mentioned it to you. And I think you know I, I haven't listened to you guys because my work schedule has been conflicting. But I've been you know um, trying to catch up on on some backlog stuff from your show. But I remember about eight or nine months ago, a, a little kid uh, called and he asked how to get into radio or how oh, to get yeah, into podcasting and broadcasting. That's right. right. Well, and there's this great, um, and I and I put it in the um, Skype little thing down there. As you can see, it's this great um, uh, app. If you have a, it's, and it's only for iOS right now, but it's called Boss Jock Studio. And basically, what it is and what it does is it's a it's a uh, a podcasting studio built in built into your iPad or iPhone. It's only wow. ten bucks, hmm. and it uses um, utilizes audio carts. You know, just like the old school. Uh, radio stations used to have to do lead in music and, and commercials and all that kind of stuff. But there you load them all before you start the show and you can do your intro music it uses auto ducking and, and you can auto fade out your intro and it has this little button on the bottom. So while your intro music's playing, you press that button and it cues your mic and the music goes down, you, you speak over it, you release it and the music comes back up and then it'll fade out and you can lock the mic down so you can do continue with the rest of your show. And they wow. give you all so, sorts of so it's an yeah. all-in-one app to make a podcast on your Apple device, basically. And That's if fascinating. you li- if you listen, if you ever heard them, it sounds just as professional as as you guys, as as um as in Joe Rogan, any of that stuff. I mean, it sounds super high quality, and they mm. give you like um, a choice of really great microphones. Like I, I don't know how I'm sounding to you guys right now, but the microphone that I'm using is the ART twenty one hundred, which is a a great USB microphone. It's a uh, dynamic cardioid microphone. How so would you lo- use a USB microphone with an iPhone? Great question. So there, on the bottom of an iPhone or an iPad, there's what's called the um, camera connector. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the newer, you know, the newer ones use the um, the lightning connector. So you'd have to get the correct adapter, basically. So it's USB to lightning connector adapter, huh. and you could hook oh, your yeah. um, okay. your microphone right into it, wow. and um, and it'll, it'll power it. And what's great about these ART 2100s by um, is that it has the headphone jack right into the microphone, so you can monitor your audio live straight from the microphone instead of having you know, a slight delay going going through the um, iPad. So you can actually hear how you sound straight from incredible. the microphone. It's so, incredible. And it's re- That's really yeah, cool. So if you, have, if you already have the iPad, it's, you have to spend 10 bucks for the program. This microphone is a really great microphone. It's 50 bucks, And you have to get the, get the, uh, get the, uh, the adapters, and that's about it. And then it, it, you can translate it or into any mm-hmm. normal format, be it Wave or what have you. Wow. So yeah, and I, I I I suggest that next time somebody calls and asks that you know check out uh, Boss Jock Studios because it is a very 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 neat cool little, man. Um, little thanks app. for the yeah. recommendations, Trey, and thanks for the call tonight. Uh, always interesting because people we were just talking with somebody the other night, actually last night, uh, about starting up a podcast. He was inquiring of us, Daryl. You know what what should yeah. I get? You know that kind of thing. And there's so many different options. You've created Daryl your own studio for about a hundred hundred and fifty bucks, right? One hundred ten dollars, mm-hmm. and that includes some things that I don't use every time I use the studio. Yeah, I've You're talked used- to a few that. Oh, you know, just use like a small little box and a couple of mics and they're all set. You're using a laptop, though, to do the recording, right? I am. So, you know, whether it's a laptop or an iPad device, uh, that sounds like a really great solution for people with an iPad. So thanks, yeah. Trey. So right. I, I'm using, uh, as far as the hardware or mm-hmm. the software, it's Audacity. Free I've, program. Free program, mm-hmm. open source. I've built in basically a donut to where it's got the intro music, the outro music. Donut is a kind of a slang term in the industry. But yeah. I didn't realize that. I so, think. you know, like there, there's the things on the end and it's empty in the middle, right. kind of like a donut. Yes. Uh, probably where the term round came like up. like a donut. But yeah, I right. get where but, you're coming from. You know, so there's the music and then emptiness and I start recording and it plays the music and then it records in a separate track. Mm-hmm. And then I just put it together, pop in the commercials and then save and upload. 
So t- you did a half hour long podcast today. What's the total time that you spent doing a half hour long podcast? Uh, well, it took me a good bit longer to upload today because we were having some internet troubles, mm-hmm. but it's a live to record show okay. so that if you're listening, you don't know it's a podcast. It just sounds like it's a 30 minute show. So you don't like a lot of podcasters go back in and clean up the audio. Like, well, if you say, uh, some podcasters will go in and clean up all the us to make it sound like, you know, that they're superhuman, I guess you don't do that. No, it's a, a live to record. Yeah. Uh, then I add in the commercials, save it. So about 45 minutes to an hour. For the half hour show. Just for the half hour show. That's not counting upload. And this is a sort of a newer version of Peace, Love, Liberty Radio yes. that you just started up. You can go to fppradio.com to download uh, Daryl's shows. There's more coming up here in moments on Free Talk Live. I am so excited. My Ghost 80% AR-15 rifle just arrived. <laughs> I bought it from guns80.com. I've wanted an 80% AR-15 ever since my buddy Mark got his. I just had to have one. And when I was on the website at guns80.com, not only did they have a great deal on the Ghost ARs, but I also found lots of other really cool stuff. And they're 80% specialists. At guns80.com, they have a great selection of pistol kits and rifle kits. All of them can be legally shipped straight to your front door. 80% lowers and jigs starting at 50 bucks. 80% 80% rifle kits, 500 bucks. Everything you need to build an AR in your home, all at guns80.com. Cool part, 100% legal in most states. So, get your AR-15 today. I got mine. Now it's your turn. Go to guns80.com. I can't wait to get mine built. Get your ghost AR-15 today at guns80.com. Go to guns80.com. That's guns, the number 880.com. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. 
You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. Do enjoy the features you'll find waiting for you on the site. Uh, We give them away to you. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian here. Danica. And Daryl. Don't forget, uh, you can also Skype in at username lrn.fm. We'll continue with the info propaganda sheet being sent home to who knows how many government school students Uh, We know it was at the very least Fairfield Public School District. Not sure which state that is, but uh, it's somewhere. And uh, we did verify, uh, Daryl, you found the edhelper.com. You went to their site and you found this document on their site. So this is real. This is not some sort of concoction by someone trying to make the government school system look worse than it actually is. No, it really is this bad. And the propaganda really is this awful. We'll continue uh, with that here, but your calls come first. So right back into them at toll-free number 855-453. Wes is listening in Idaho. You're on Free Talk Live. Wes. Where our rights come from, I believe the founders of the United States of America answer is we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Doesn't that answer the question, our rights come well, that's from an opinion. God? Or that's... Do you think better uh, you, you are a higher authority on government than the founders of the United States of America, perhaps? Well, uh, that's an opinion of the men who wrote, you know, the founding documents of the United States. But, yeah, I'd say they're men just like anybody else, and they're as entitled to their opinion as anyone else, whether, you know, behind the mics on this show or listening in our audience. Uh, So, yeah, I wouldn't say that just because they wrote a government founding document means that all of a sudden they are the end-all, be-all of uh, what rights are and where they come from. But you have something better than I say we get back to the ancient principles. By the way, I called up a while ago now and asked, can you build a first world country with a third world population? Now, the what is, Wait, wait, wait. What is that supposed I, to mean? I don't understand what that no. question even means. I don't recall the call, by the way, so maybe you called no, on a different no, night. I'll but... ask it again, then, if you allow me. Can we you would build love that. A... Can you build a first world country with a third world population? I wish. Describe what you mean by a third world population. Okay, Australian uh, Aborigines have an IQ of 60. Can we make a first world country? Intellectual quotient, uh, intelligence quotient rather, is there's different IQs out there, right? So like, you know, maybe they have an IQ of 60 on a standard IQ test, but that doesn't mean that their intelligence is lower than yours. How did you know that? Did you go test every single one of them? (laughs) Oh, is that what I'm to do to be able to get on to your program. You uh, you uh, go out and you ch- try every fact that you present. You ask every single man out there. No, I went to uh, a website on uh, the went web. Went to kkk.com. Uh, I went and, to a uh, website that said that uh, there were like 57 different races and the lowest one was Irish. That was something that was presented by one okay, Charles we'll, we'll Darwin. We'll put that aside. And we'll Just put have, it aside, uh, Daryl. Put it aside. You can find you anything you move. want on the internet. Yeah. Look, um, what do you, I think what you don't understand about intelligence is there's different kinds of intelligence, right? So there's like book smarts kind of intelligence, but there's also street smarts mm-hmm. uh, intelligence. Right. And I bet you those Aborigines be a lot smarter about how to go out and, you know, hunt animals and build fires yeah, and things like they that. They know how to survive in the outback yeah. a lot oh, better than oh, I do. Yeah, because yeah, the outback yeah, is scary. Survive. I, I, I assume how to 
survive. Uh, do you see anyone trying to get into the Australian Aborigine nation, break in there to be, uh, be a part, uh, be a citizen, or is it the United States? I don't America live with the Aborigines, so I wouldn't be aware if somebody did want to do that. But regardless, oh, you your point is. You're a little bit confused, I think, Wes, because you're calling the Aborigines third world. I don't think you really know what the definition of a third world is. I mean, there's plenty of people living in so-called third world countries who are not living off the land necessarily. They are just oppressed by their third world governments who are keeping them from creating wealth for themselves. The reason why third world countries are usually notoriously poor is because they're not because the people are somehow in inferior, but because the governments are oppressive and yes. more oppressive, and they're preventing yes. them from creating a better yes. life for themselves. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Good. I'm glad you agree. Uh, I, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah? I, I, What's what part? With which, with which part do you disagree? Go ahead. Uh, that uh, you can build a first world nation with a third world population. Now, what criteria— You're just repeating yourself. Uh, what criteria is there to decide whether a, a nation is source world or not? The United Nations. What are your says, criteria? Well, the United Nations. I will. Uh, uh, I will agree with them. They say uh, your expected life expectancy. Your educational attainment, most likely, uh, your income, that that is the kind of criteria the United Nations uses to decide whether a country is first world yeah. or a country is That doesn't world. explain anything about the people that live in those countries, though. I mean, look, wouldn't oh. you agree that the United States was not first world uh, a few hundred years ago? Uh I'm not so certain. I I think all European countries have just about always been uh, first world. Whereas, so would you call yourself a racist or a bigot? I I, I would call call myself the one, one that likes to uh, freedom of association to live around other people of the uh, what the, the same skin uh, uh, color. So you and, describe and yourself I, as a white I, uh, I, separatist. I, I would like. Uh, I think. I believe other people should promote their skin color as well. Uh, I, you're I sick, prefer, dude. You, what, you're I, so. I mean, the people who come from this perspective are so twisted. The idea that you're somehow better because you've got white oh, skin. I, I I don't see any black on white crime in my neighborhood. Is that is that something I? Uh, is, Why are you uh, living? What are you living uh, in some sort of a uh, North, whites only North neighborhood? North Idaho, where it is about, well, about... Bet you're glad you left there. Idaho, huh, Danica? Thanks for the call tonight, <laughs> Wes. Appreciate it. Do these people live in uh, the Boise area where you're from? Oh, I mean, I'm sure they, they live everywhere. Despicable. So from nationsonline.org, first world refers to so-called developed capitalist industrial countries, Roughly a block of countries aligned with the United States after World War II, with more or less common political and economic interest. North America, Western Europe, Japan, and Australia are defined here. Second World refers to former communist socialist industrial states. You never hear about the Second World. No, you never do. The former Eastern Bloc, uh, the territory and sphere Mm. influenced by the former Soviet Union. Today, Russia, Eastern Europe, including Poland, and some of the Turk states that I would call the stands. So Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and China is part of the Second World and the Wait, third uh, world is all other countries. He mentioned the fourth world. There is did. such a thing as fourth world. Those are what are referred to as micro nations. Hmm. Like so, small islands like Andorra? or something? Uh, no, Andorra is actually a nation. A okay. micro nation is something along the lines of the free state of Daryl, where uh-huh. it's self-declared. There oh, is no territory. So you're and, in the fourth world. And there is no international recognition. You know, if you were just smarter, Daryl, uh, had better IQ, you could be a first world nation. Right. If, you know, my IQ were above 130 something mm-hmm. like it is, 
then you know somehow I, I would acquire nukes. So yeah, that guy was pretty transparent. Uh, toll free numbers eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. And I hope more people who are like him will move to where he lives. So I don't have the big state them. project. Yeah, please. Northern Idaho. There you go. All right, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. You take control here. More government propaganda on the way on Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll continue with... 
a government propaganda sheet being sent home with school children, uh, elementary school age kids are getting a sheet about being a good citizen. And it's got nine points on it. We'll continue reading those to you to give you some idea of the propaganda efforts going on right now within government schools. Pretty disturbing stuff. Uh, that's coming up, plus the latest on the Silk Road 2.0 bust that happened last week. We've got all that for you and more on the way. Your calls come first, though, to the phones and the fun. Uh, first, want to let you know about Pro XPN. however. If you care about online privacy, you really need to know about Pro XPN. It is a global virtual private network, and they encrypt your data online, meaning that your Internet service provider won't be able to snoop on you anymore. They're probably logging all the websites you visit, all the search terms you enter, and maybe keeping those logs up to five years. That can stop tonight when you go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Download their app for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android devices. Even Linux users can get started with ProXPN. It's actually a fairly simple setup if you're on Linux. Just a little bit different. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You get started with their app, and then the prying and spying is over. FTL50, by the way, is the code that you'll need to get a discount on their uh, premium product. Now, again, there's a free level account, but you want the premium account because you get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world you can connect to. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. So use code FTL50. That stands for Free Talk Live and the number 50, as in 50% off of the price of that annual account. Plus, you get that savings locked in for the lifetime of the account. You can also save even more by using code FTLBTC and then paying with Bitcoin for that annual account. You'll save 62% off of that with code FTLBTC. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and get started. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. So again, promo codes are FTL50 and FTLBTC. It's a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. We go to Dave in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dave. Hi, guys. How you doing? Dave, what's on your mind tonight? There is a leech living out in Anchorage, Alaska. Why should he have to? His name is Corey Williams, a.k.a. Dude Like Hell. I am pretty pissed off. Why should this guy go around making videos for YouTube when everybody else has to have a job? Wait a minute. A Slow you, down you for just a moment. A First of all, you're alleging someone is a leech. You've used someone's first and last name. I don't know if those claims are true. I just want to make that clear. You're making allegations here. Uh, no, is this somebody who's... Allegations. What, who is this guy? And there's a lot of people that make videos on YouTube and they make a living off of it. What's wrong with that? This guy never had a job in his life. Why should we care about some guy in Anchorage, Alaska job. that has a YouTube channel? Jobs suck. I mean, why would anybody want to have a job? I have a job. You guys have, you, you, you guys I don't have work. a job. I work. Everybody has a job. Well, I you don't. Guys, you guys get paid. I, I, this is my business. I run my own business, but it's not a job. Job is like something. Yeah. I, when I think of a job, I think of you know having a boss and having someone tell you what to do, and you have to show up at a certain time, and you, you know you leave at a certain time, whatever the boss tells you to, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, I, I guess you could claim that coming on the air every single night is. You know, is a job. Th those I, are your work hours. It's, it's it's not the traditional kind of job job that. Right. Uh, you, know, you not, are your own anyway. boss. Yeah, I've worked jobs before. I mean, I've worked at Kmart, for instance. So yeah, I, I know yeah, what a job yeah, is like, yeah. and this okay, is not okay. a job. Anyway, anyway, let me con let me continue. I don't. This this guy is leeching off the government. He really? he he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't work. All he does he he just goes around making videos and posts them on YouTube. He mm -hmm. doesn't have what's a his job. what's his name he, again. He, he, What's his name? Dude Like Hella, a.k.a. Corey Williams. Dude he, he Like live, Hella? He, dude Like Hella on YouTube. He used to okay. live in California, and then he moved to Anchorage, Alaska. This guy is a leech. Are you just He's jealous? I mean, are, you've got your own YouTube channel, Dave, in New York. We Dave's know got like five go YouTube channels. In the Hudson Valley. You what? I don't go around making videos in the Hudson Valley. This guy's going around Don't you live Alaska. in Hudson Valley? Yes, I live well, in then every Valley. video you've making... made has been made in Hudson Valley. What are you talking I about? Go, I don't go around making videos, you know, saying, oh, well, this, 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 here's, a, here's an awesome lake, or here's, some, or here's an awesome dealership, blah, blah, blah. So this wait, guy, you know, what are you he, saying this guy videos. makes videos about? He just shows off uh, the Alaska? He just kind of, it's like a travel log or something? Yeah, he, he he used to live in California. Now he he moved to Alaska. Everybody you know, where he, where he's you know he's been there for a good couple of weeks now. And you know you oh yeah, I, my 
my name is Corey Williams. I moved to Alaska. I'm going to make videos here in Alaska. Blah, blah, blah. No, Dave. Uh, are you just jealous that he jealous. leaves his apartment? The what? Dave. I, I said, are you just jealous that he actually leaves his apartment with his video camera? He is Dave leaves his apartment. I've seen videos government. with him in his truck. I'd live in Alaska over California any day. There's there, Look, if you go to Hudson Valley, guy. His, no, his Dave. name is Corey Williams, a.k.a. Dude Dave. like... Hello. You've given the guy a multiple promos now. I mean, if you don't like him, you probably shouldn't keep repeating uh, what his name is and how people can find him on YouTube. Now, Dave, your your YouTube channel is Hudson Valley Guy. I thought it was Hudson Valley Guy number one, but is it? Did you change it? it, is, is it now? He's got like five channels that I've seen. What's the one channel that someone should go to if they want to see you on YouTube, Dave? But I'm just saying that this guy, he doesn't Dave, can you a answer job. a question? I don't want to hear what you have to say about this other guy. I would like to know, what is your YouTube we're, channel? We're, we're promoting you this here, Dave. This is a question. We're having a conversation. I'm asking you to reveal your preferred YouTube channel for all of our listeners to go and experience Hudson Valley Guy <laughs> on YouTube. What's yes. What yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's Hudson Valley Guy and the number one, but I don't, I, I haven't posted a video on, on there in like months that, or, at wait, all. Wait, wait a minute. But, Who know, is posting to Hudson Valley Guy New York? Is that not your channel? Yes, that is my channel, but you know, it's, 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 I, I use it for music now. Oh. Okay. Well, you did post something within the last 10 hours. <laughs> on that yeah. channel. Music. I, 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 use, I, I use it for music now nowadays. You know, but this guy, you There's know. There's a video you Hella. posted yesterday that is called Roundabouts on Route 55 in LaGrangeville, New York. That is clearly <laughs> not about music. I mean, look, Maybe Dave, that's a song. Maybe he's trying to be like this other guy who's, you know, showing off his life in Alaska. Maybe Dave is wanting to show off the roundabouts and some of the features of the Hudson Valley. Look, Dave, I mean, I understand you're probably jealous of Dude Like Hella, who has approximately 148,000 subscribers. Wow. No, 173,000 subscribers on his channel. And Hudson Valley Guy number one, your channel, Dave, has 100 or 213 subscribers. So, I mean, I understand that it, it's easy to be jealous of somebody who's having more success on YouTube. He doesn't have a job. He doesn't get up every morning and, and you know, and go to a bar. Who cares? <laughs> who I have a cares? I work at Dunkin' Donuts. Who cares? Other than Dave in New York, who cares that this guy with 170-some-odd thousand YouTube subscribers doesn't have what you call a job? Like, making videos on a regular basis and promoting those to these 170,000 people and then getting the ad revenue. Like, that takes some sense of work and some sense of effort. Just because he doesn't go and punch a time card somewhere doesn't mean that he doesn't work. Well, Dave, I would like to... He doesn't. He has no job. Okay. You're repeating yourself now, Dave. I'd like to congratulate you, Dave, on having a job because I know for a while when you called the show, you did not have one. So it's good that you've, you know, taken care of that. And uh, maybe you. someday you'll have 150,000 uh, subscribers. I on I'd your like channel. to congratulate Dave on having 300 and something subscribers 200 on. 200 some. 200. Well, some. that's still more than what I have on YouTube. Is that right? Yes. There you go, Dave. So how's that feel? You've beaten Daryl. Thank you, but like I get up and I go to work every morning. <laughs> yes. Well, wait, wait a minute. How under, do you? How hold on? How do you know? You said dude like Hella, this other guy on YouTube. Uh, you say he's never worked a day in his life. How would you know that that's true? Because I uh, I know that it's true because I have, I have followed his his uh he, he used to have a channel called S and Films and mm -hmm. I have followed it since day one. Wow, so you're a real fan of this guy. I mean, you're jealous. Uh, no, you're jealous. I, I'm, I'm not. Jealous? Yes. Okay. All right. Then, 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 there you go. At least. Oh, and, and maybe I, there's a I, bit I of a man crush. <laughs> Dave. I, no, 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 no. I have a rap sheet of where I have worked. He does not. Okay, Dave. There you go. Thanks for the call tonight. <laughs> 855 free. That's 855-450-3733. This guy, uh, Hella, dude like Hella, I'm on his uh, YouTube here with his about page. Uh, he, let's see here, claims to be the first professional YouTuber, the world's first professional YouTuber. He claims his online video career began before the birth of YouTube, but he has been active there since October of 2005. He has two cats, and he lives in Anchorage, Alaska, with his adventurous girlfriend and her lovable dog. 
So, you know, if it's true that he's never had a job in his life, then good for him. He sounds very happy. Congratulations. He's making videos. Right. Congratulations. I mean, if you can make a living without having to work for the man, without having to work for somebody else. actually enjoying your job. Right. 855-450 free. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Ever wonder why so many politicians violate the U.S. Constitution? Maybe they simply don't understand its principles. Fiat empire, original intent, cultural Marxism, corporate fascism, and Molan Labe explore these issues. Featuring experts like Ron Paul, G. Edward Griffin, Edwin Vieira, Pat Buchanan, John McManus, Larry Pratt, this 12-hour 8-DVD set is available only at moviepubs.net. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, November 14th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,163, silver around $15.71, and Bitcoin around $396. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Beat is made possible by Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. In the news, the New York Times is reporting that President Obama next week plans to announce major changes to the immigration enforcement system. That means shielding up to 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation while providing them with work permits. The paper, citing administration officials with direct knowledge of the plan, says a major change would allow parents of children who are legal residents to obtain legal work documents. CNN reports that President Obama is shifting U.S. policy on Syria as he now believes that ISIS will not be defeated without fighting them in Iraq and Syria as well as removing President Bashar al-Assad. Senior U.S. government officials and diplomats tell CNN the president has asked his national security team to review the situation in Syria to determine if a change in policy is needed. There are other reports that the United States is being pressured by nations who are currently hosting Syrian refugees, including Turkey. A federal judge has refused to alter the force feeding being done to hunger striker Abu Diab by jailers at the Guantanamo Bay prison. Judge Gladys Kessler said the practice lacked compassion and common sense, yet still sided with the government on the practice. Judge Kessler said Diab's attorneys failed to prove he had his constitutional rights violated. His attorneys with Human Rights Group, Reprieve, will be appealing the decision. They called on the American public to demand to see the force-feeding videotapes that the Obama administration has fought to keep private. The Liberty Beat, brought to you by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. They've created a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day, even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. 
eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. Support also comes from The Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night at 10 o'clock Eastern. Liberty-minded, comedy-focused. The Corey Moore Show at CoreyMooreShow.com. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, November 14th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash TheLibertyBeat. On Thursday night, the United Nations Special Rapporteur on Torture spoke in Houston, Texas, about the mainstreaming of torture in the United States. Special Rapporteur Juan Mendez said there no longer exists a universal moral condemnation of torture. Liberty Beat reporter Derek Bros caught up with Mendez to find out why the United States is allowed to continue down this dangerous path. This has a long history here in the United States with tendencies towards isolationism or, or uh, what some people think uh, is a sort of U.S. exceptionalism, uh, which translates into uh, these rules are all okay, but they, uh, they apply to everybody else, not to us. Mendez called the use of torture a form of state terrorism. On Wednesday, thousands of nurses around the United States took part in protests and strikes in response to what they see as a lack of protections for health workers treating patients with Ebola. National Nurses United estimated around 100,000 would participate nationwide. On Tuesday, 19,000 nurses in California launched a two-day strike. The nurses want the hospitals to upgrade hazardous material suits and provide additional Ebola training. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your message or product? Well, the Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, November 14th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A Japanese-American internment facility was still in operation in the mountains of Northern California. The facility should have been closed in 1945 and its 6,000 residents released, but unfortunately the camp was overlooked until this week. I am happy to announce, however, that the remaining 118 de detainees have now been fully exonerated of suspicion of spying for General Tojo and they have been freed. Next item of business, the President will be meeting with the Australian Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd. Yes, Denise? This is a huge oversight. How could this have happened? Well, Denise, it looks like the camp just somehow slipped through the cracks. The end of the Second World War was a hectic time in America, and it's only natural that we let a couple of things slip in our excitement over defeating the Nazis. Who is going to be held responsible for this? Congressional investigation? No, there won't. In fact, the War Relocation Authority was responsible for the decommissioning of the internment facilities, um, but that organization ceased to exist in 1946, so no. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you are just now tuning in, you missed the conversation we had a moment ago with Dave in New York, who called in tonight uh, to out a fellow YouTuber. Because Dave, who's called the show for a long time now, it's probably been a couple years since he started calling us, uh, Dave has his own YouTube channel, and... He is upset about another guy who runs a YouTube channel that is much more popular than Dave's channel. Although, uh, Daryl Perry, as you pointed out, Dave is actually more popular than you are <laughs> on YouTube. Are you jealous? No. No, I'm not. Because but he's got like 100 more subscribers than you. Right. I also don't put out nearly as much content on YouTube as Dave does. That's true. Um, you know, even the Free Talk Live YouTube channel, I think, only has about 500 subscribers. So we're not the, also, even though we put out content there on a nightly basis, we don't really push the YouTube channel. If you'd like to visit our YouTube, you can go to youtube.freetalklive.com, and that'll forward you directly to the appropriate place. <laughs> and there's usually only one video that they watch anyway. <laughs> 
Oh, the one with Mark freaking out? Yeah, that is the most viewed video on the channel. Um, so, Ian, maybe you should take a page from Dave's playbook and, you know, like hang out in the rants and raves section of Craigslist. Mm. Where oh he gets my. in arguments with people in yes. the Hudson Valley. Yeah, so just to give our listeners a little bit of background on Dave, uh, he he seems to be obsessed with being sort of in arguments with people online. He doesn't, while well, on one hand he claims he doesn't like it, on the other hand, everything he does online attracts people who want to troll him and who want to you know, basically have it out with him online. He's been followed around by the same crew of... I don't know if you want to call them haters or trolls or whatever you want to call them, but people who've basically been effing with Dave uh, for the last decade of his <laughs> life. Um, and Dave, you know, has been on these Hudson Valley websites like Craigslist and other localized kind of sites. And he's encountered these people and they've just sort of driven him up the wall. But then again, he asks for it. He acts as though he doesn't like uh, the treatment at the hands of these people, but he is rude to people when he's online. He is not a nice person uh, when he's posting. He's posted all over the Free Talk Live BBS and has been banned multiple times by the operators of the Free Talk Live BBS for his behavior there. And he wonders why it is that people don't like him and that people don't get along with him online. He is not someone who who seems to understand how to get along with people uh, on the internet. And here he is expressing jealousy and finally admitting that he's jealous of a guy who's on YouTube who has close to, a, you know, close to 200,000 subscribers and 17.8 million views thus far, uh, which is, you know, very good. I mean, that's, that's great, man. Yeah, I, it is. I, I wish my YouTube channel had that kind of subscriber count. I think the free keen channel only has like 5,000 or something like that. It's not a, a very big channel. Um, and, you know, there's revenue that you can get from YouTube from advertising dollars. You know, the more views your videos get, the more revenue that you get. So it's entirely possible that this guy that Dave is jealous of uh, is actually making his living from his YouTube channel. I mean, like the, the YouTube pranksters, for instance, these guys get millions of views on their videos. I mean, people don't really, you know, people like comedy. You know, they're not as interested sure, in watching yeah. uh, a three hour show about freedom every single night on YouTube. Well, like Ian, if you want Live. people to, you know, if you want to make your living off of YouTube, you should start doing makeup tutorials because that's just. Are those really big too? Uh, Michelle Fawn, I believe, has. Um, seven million subscribers, and wow. she's been doing she's been doing videos since two thousand seven, and she's you know very well known in the YouTube community as is uh let's see uh Jenna Marbles uh uh she's not really are these uh, all makeup she people is like one of the most annoying people okay, in the entire can't. planet. All right, in your opinion, she is annoying. I've she heard her is, name. Is she one of the funny. makeup people, or is she no, just she, do, she, she, she's like a big her, YouTuber? But she's more, more mostly com, uh, a comedian. She does really goofy things. She's she a comedian. <laughs> yeah, she's funny. She, uh, you know, she talks about her dogs. Um, Yogg's Cast is a gamer channel. Um, they do um, games like Minecraft. Um, you know, that's just. It seems as though that the biggest generators of revenue are, you know, it's either makeup, comedy, or some sort of gaming. I, I like the React channel Love and the channel. Fine Brothers. Uh, okay, that one's great. And, and when they have these YouTubers on to react, uh -huh. I have no I clue who, who ninety percent of them yeah, are. I have no. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm like, who are these people? They all have their own channels and big fans, I guess. You know, fan bases and things like that. Good for them, though. I mean, that's fantastic. Oh, hey, that, it's great that, that you can make a living being. Silly. <laughs> yeah, YouTube has allowed people who many of them probably did have jobs. Dave was bemoaning the fact that this other guy didn't have a job. Like, Dave has a job, as though that somehow makes, as though working for another person somehow makes you more legit or uh, makes you more viable human being. Morally it's, superior, I believe, ridiculous. is the term you might be looking for. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Um, look, the fact that YouTube, this new technology of sharing video, has allowed for people to quit their jobs to become independently uh, independently wealthy or at least more independent. I guess you know if you're relying on YouTube for your only stream of income, that could be a problem because at any moment they could cut it off and decide that well we're not going to give you any more ad revenue or we you know decided your uh, channel's too offensive we're going to cancel you. So if you know if you're making your living exclusively off of YouTube, that may not be a good idea. It may not be something that will hold true for the future. But at least in the moment, it's allowed people to be creative 
and oh, yeah. and make a living off of their creativity. Whether or not you like the content they create, that doesn't matter. Somebody likes it, and enough people like it to where these guys can get a check and put some food on the table. Good for them. Let's go to Jeff. He's in Chicago. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Jeff. Hi, you guys. I'm looking for more sources of uh, passive cash flow, you know. Um, I'm open to different ideas like rental houses or um, um, YouTube videos. I do wood carving. Um, I, I had a guy set up a um, a website for me, and it, you can't buy off it, but you can see stuff I make. I make, like, I take pictures, I engrave them. People have historic houses. Um, I make turnings and other stuff people need for to match the old, you know, 100-year-old houses the detail so they can finish their houses and stuff. Have you ever videotaped your or recorded in some fashion you doing a wood carving? Because I, I think that that would definitely be interesting and people would probably wind up watching that, especially if you do some sort of tutorial sort of How thing to, to go with it of this is what I'm doing, this is a technique. Because remember Bob Ross, the guy that used to be on PBS, he would, you know... He got really popular by teaching people how to paint trees and happy little clouds. Well, a quick uh, YouTube search for wood carving uh, reveals uh, one channel here with a video with 200,000 views on it, another one with 220,000. So it's it's already been done, but that doesn't mean it can't continue to be done, and it couldn't be done better. I'm so Especially I've, if he's got something very unique to show. Mm-hmm. I have... I use um, I have a laser uh, shop bot and you know uh, multiple spindle carvers and one um, um, a duplicating lathe and and then I do other things too you know like some traditional stuff and some you know hand, uh, antique tool stuff. Um, Neat. Now so, the other thing that you have to keep in mind if you're going to make your own videos is some level of production quality is important. I mean just grabbing a handy cam and shooting a, you know an unedited run of you you know talking in your shop may not be as interesting as having inserted shots of sort of b-roll of you working close-ups of of the carving uh, unless you thing. wind up you know burning yourself in some sort of manner and then people will watch it <laughs> just so they can see you yes, burn yourself with in. the wood carver although i'm not suggesting that you you know like sacrifice your left hand for the sake of for the youtube video videos. hits yeah. for the sake of youtube i, I, I try to avoid injuries um <laughs> You know, I did, I, I had, well, anyway, I don't want to go into stories about that, but um, if, hey, would you guys, if if I give you my site, do you mind, you know, uh, people go ahead. can check out some of this? Okay. Jeff Wood Smith, that's Jeff as in J-E-F-F, mm -hmm. woodsmith.com. That's easy enough. Jeff, good luck with your project, yeah. and thanks for the call tonight. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, that could make a fun video, though, how to avoid getting hurt yes. in the wood carving shop or during wood carving. You could come up with, like, five uh, different ways that you could lob off a finger or, you know, stab through your hand or something like that. And you could dramatize how you could get hurt and then show uh, solutions as this to prevent that. This is a reenactment. That. There's yeah. a YouTube channel <laughs> called Crazy Russian Engineer or something. Some Sometimes he will show himself, like, messing up. Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. Whether you want to talk about your favorite uh, YouTube channel or whatever you want to discuss, I like the slow-mo, guys. That's a cool channel. Oh, yeah. More yeah. coming up here on Free Talk Live. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-856-4195. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-856-4195. That's 1-800-856-4195. Call 1-800-856-4195. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, 
How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. I've been told no in many different ways. An order, and you're gonna obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that, and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Oh, wait, the other road. Whoa. Hey. Because you're scared of me. Property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free to bring up anything you want. 855-450-FREE is the Pro XPN toll-free line. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. Still to come, we do have to uh, continue this list of how to be a good citizen. It is a nine-point sheet that was sent home with some government school children, uh, Fairfield County or something like that. It, it doesn't matter where this happened. This could be happening, and it probably is happening uh, in the government schools where you live. So we'll get back to more of this propaganda here in a moment. And your calls and thoughts are certainly welcome at 855-450-FREE. You know, at coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of some of the best of the best coffee out there from BuzzBox. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. BuzzBox is not only great coffee, but they also do something really special. Uh, They've teamed up with Free Talk Live and Kiva.org to offer people in poverty an opportunity to change their own lives for the better through microloans. So when you get your free pound of coffee, you just pay the shipping cost and it's sent to you uh, over at coffee.freetalklive.com. You get signed up for their auto ship program, so then they'll send you more coffee every so often. You get to select the frequency and how much coffee uh, that they'll be sending you at that frequency. You can cancel any time, of course, but for every 10 Free Talk Live listeners that signs up at coffee.freetalklive.com, we'll be able to fund one new microloan. Now, once that microloan is paid off by the individual to whom it is sent, we'll take that money back in and fund out another microloan so it just keeps growing uh, on itself as more people keep getting some great coffee from buzzbox by going to coffee.freetalklive.com as we go to your phone calls and thoughts we go to skype where nathan is on the line in texas hello nathan hey guys how are you doing hi nathan what's on your mind tonight 
Well, the woodcarver guy who just called in uh, prompted me to, to share my thoughts about YouTube. I used to be kind of optimistic about YouTube as an educational platform. Like you may have heard of Khan Academy and other kind of oh, yeah. educa educational resources and such that are on there. But uh, I guess in the last couple of years or so, I've kind of moved away from that position because it, maybe it's just me, but it seems like there's a lot of problems with like, kind of like learning uh, edutainment kind of videos on YouTube. Like, for example, even if like they might have bad production values, for example, you can't see the, the object that they're manipulating or there's no sound and instead there's like a music track. Or it can be just something as simple as it's not an it's not a tutorial video at all. It's just a video of, you know, like say you want to know how to build like build a car, and you search for the video, you'll get a guy showing you the car that he built, you know. And so, hmm. um, I don't know. I was wondering what you guys think about that because, uh, you know, like I'll give you an example. Yeah, uh, yesterday I was searching on YouTube and I was curious how uh, how blankets are made. So I typed in how what search. How blankets are made. Blankets, um, okay. Like from the like from the sheep and the shearing the wool and such. And gotcha. Oh, okay. The most the most I could find. So the first video I found was part one: how wool is made from the sheep. And I watched it, but then there was no part two video. <laughs> hmm. And uh, the other well, ones that that I saw, doesn't sound as though it's a failure of YouTube. That sounds as though it's a failure of. The person that produced a part one without coming out with the part two. Right. Maybe they just lost interest. Right, or but if, if it's like, a new video, maybe they're just taking right. time. I guess my, my point is that it seems like there's a dearth of such videos. And I was wondering if you agree with that. And if uh, so, what do you think the cause I mean, might be? I just maybe, searched maybe... for how to make a blanket and uh, found a bunch of results. Oh, you're talking about like sewing a blanket, right? With the already like pre-made materials. You're wondering where right. the material comes from to make blankets? Like, how do you shear oh, a sheep... I, I, turn that into wool, <laughs> and then make a blanket. And well, yeah, that's all I, that's all th I there wanted There used to be, I don't know if it still exists, but there used to be the Science Channel, and they had a series called How Stuff Works. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, there's a great website called How Stuff Works, too. Yeah, they would, or How Stuff's Made, well, whatever it is. But they would have these wonderful things to where they would show you, like, you know, this is how magnets are made, mm -hmm. where we dig up these things from the ground, we melt them at this temperature, we add them together, this, that, the other thing, put it in a Magnets? Spinner. How do those work? <laughs> hey, Nathan, I think that... Uh that what you're asking for is just too obscure. I mean, YouTube is an amazing resource and there really is a lot of good information and how to's and detailed info. And like, there's so much on YouTube. Sometimes I'm bewildered by how much there is on YouTube, how much obscure stuff that they actually do have there. But you you may just be asking for something that's a little bit too unusual. Uh, it you know it's beyond the pale of the typical question asked of uh, of YouTube creators. You know, and it, show me the process of shearing sheep all the way to the end product of the blanket. That may just be well, a little too. I mean, you niche. can search for how to shear sheep, and you can see competitive sheep shearing. Events. Right. So the right. the way you use the search function has a lot to do with what you get in your results. Mm. Yep, well, there are instructions on how to shear sheep here with over 200,000 oh, views. Cer certainly, but you know, it's interesting. I just typed in wood carving a minute ago, and the very first video that came up, the guy started out by saying, I noticed on YouTube a lot of videos kind of assume you know the basics, so mm -hmm. I'm going to explain them. That. So it just it's just my impression that there's just, like the videos that are out there are either not popular, like they're not getting a lot of hits, so people don't do them, or else um, they're just not made very well. And it sounds like you kind well, of disagreeing with me there a little. Yeah, I'm just saying that, you know, what you're doing is, or what you're asking for is just too obscure for YouTube, and maybe no one's done it yet because there's just not enough demand, or maybe you need to be the first one. If you, uh, you know, if you really want that video to be made, maybe you're the one who has to make it. Or try modifying the search terms until you are able to find something that is closer to what you're looking for. Watch that video, and then at the end, it'll pop up suggested videos, and then you know, click, and maybe you find something, and maybe after like seven clicks, you're watching news anchors that start swearing in the middle of a newscast because a that's what happens to me sometimes the step-by-step -step guide on how to shear a sheep from the uk college of agriculture food and environment step well, I'm, by step i'm curious what was the last uh, thing that you learned from youtube daryl or that you found a video on youtube that you found uh you know useful for uh learning something uh the last 
I, I would say it's an interesting channel that I found where it's people that go out and they test and review all sorts of uh, remote drones that you can mm. fly around, attach cameras to, and do aerial photography. Well, that does sound interesting. I'll uh, see if I can find that. Ch- I, yes. A channel that I would definitely recommend if if you're into cooking is America's Test Kitchen. They um, Not only are they showing you how to cook certain foods the best way they can, they tell you why it's best to do it that way. For example, you know, why is it good to, you know, to soften the meat and make the meat more tender. Mm. For example, I never would have thought that taking, say, like skirt steak, soaking it in a bowl of water and baking soda would moist, not moisten, that's a terrible word, uh, soften the meat so that when I cooked it, it didn't dry out and it retained its hmm. wow. moisture and it was tender when I ate it because of the different, um, you know, I, I can't describe the science very well behind it, but the- Because of science. Because science. <laughs> <laughs> because because science. America. Well, no, it's just um, the oxides in the baking soda help tenderize the acids that are in the meat and that mm. just make, that helps retain its tenderness. So I, you learn that something. only happens yeah. because America. Well, now think about oh, this though, science. cooking- Cooking is an area, there's so many videos on YouTube, right? Sure. Like, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, my girlfriend at the time and I w- wanted to know, well, how do we make some General Tso's chicken? We're always eating out. We're always, you know, getting the uh, the Chinese cooking. And, well, you know, how do you make it at home? You just type in General Tso's chicken recipe or whatever, and then poof, there's, you know, 10 yeah, different options right there. A lot, of to- a lot of times they'll assume you have the specialized ingredients, too, and won't tell you how to get them or how to Well, well that's not necessarily the case. But thank you for the call tonight, Nathan. I appreciate hearing from you. This, the videos I saw were very comprehensive. Uh, so, again, but cooking, popular. A lot of people want to cook, not so much shearing sheep. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Free Talk Live. Who is playing dress-up as a guest? Superhero. 
ninja. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. A border ninja. <laughs> See, that like, would be the problem. Somebody else would dress up like a pirate, and then there would be a war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the pirates duking it out. <laughs> Wait, well, now what do the pirates have against ninjas? Oh, ninjas and pirates are like matter and antimatter. They can't be together. It- <laughs> Okay. I have he a feeling gonna... the ninjas would just whoop it up on the pirates. Man. Are you kidding? Pirates. Arr. Pirates, man. <laughs> oh, the pirates do have cannons. They have the long range attack ability, but once you get in close, it's hard <laughs> to be tougher than a pirate, though. The pirates are certainly tough, but the uh, agility I don't think is there. Lose, a, around on lose a, a hand, day. lose a leg, you can <laughs> still get so 200 fun. people to be afraid of you as you stomp <laughs> around with half of your, you know, an eye patch, one hand, one leg. You stomp <laughs> around a half a person, and you're still commanding 200 people. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You take control of the airwaves here toll free at 855 450 free. We've still got more of this being a good citizen, how to obey as taught to you by your government school. Yet another reason to get your kids out of government school. If they are in government school, you don't really know the extent of the propagandizing that's going on. Uh, The the parent, in this case, uh, Emma's parents, Andrew Washburn, he posts on Facebook that his daughter, eight years old, by the way, I had speculated based on uh, her handwriting skills that she was in elementary school, and that is now confirmed she's eight years old. And she was given this worksheet or this propaganda sheet uh, at her in her school class called Being a Good Citizen. I want to continue with that here in a moment, but also ask you if you've got Bitcoin and if you need a car. Because New Age Auto Sales has late model used cars that they've cared for in their rental fleet. And since New Age Auto Sales is selling their own well-maintained cars, the auction fees and transport costs don't get passed to you. Their cars are in great condition and they are priced to move. They can ship them anywhere in the world. They're based in Miami. Uh, So go to NewAgeAutoSales.com and check out their inventory. They are looking to become the Bitcoin auto dealer. And uh, it's right there on their front page that they take Bitcoin. But obviously, if you see something you like and you don't have enough Bitcoin, they can help as well. With Bitcoin, your money never needs to be exchanged into dollars. It's NewAgeAutoSales.com for late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. Head over to their website or give them a call and buy a car from the first Bitcoin auto dealership, NewAgeAutoSales.com. So, with you tonight in the studio, it's Ian here. Danica. And Daryl. Uh, so, do you guys have more comment on the YouTube critiques? I mean, we had Nathan on the line a moment ago. Before we continue with the propaganda here, uh, Nathan was complaining. He felt like uh, some of the YouTube help, how-to content was lacking in uh, in its explanatory ability. What do I, you guys think? I think in some really... Um really a small popularity subjects there would be lack of material because they do I mean some videos do start out with you basically knowing um you know what for let's you let's take wood carving for example the video probably uh, thinks that you know what kind of wood you should be looking for okay. depending on the kind of structure you want the foundation that you want um maybe it doesn't tell you what kind of tools that you should be looking for or how to find good tools and i mean you know wood carving is just it's such a specialized skill i think for something that's pretty broad let's say makeup most people that apply makeup kind of know what they're what materials they're having with but something that's very specialized like wood carving me bird watching you know something like that Mm -hmm. sometimes there there could be a lack of very basics and it's a great opportunity for someone to really come in and say hey let me share my knowledge with you i'm going to start from a all the way to z on what you need and then in my second video we're going to take what we've already discussed and apply it somewhere so i like what you said that it's an opportunity that if you're searching for something on youtube and it's not there then that's a market opportunity to provide that and maybe create a new channel to help beginners with whatever topic obviously that doesn't help if you know you want to learn how to sure, become yeah. you know that just means there's an opportunity there um, not necessarily for you and i'll, I'll reiterate for. the point that i made earlier that just because you can't find it on YouTube doesn't mean that it's a failure of YouTube. Right. It right. just means that, you know, 
maybe somebody hasn't put it out there. Maybe you didn't search the right way. Yeah, like too. I went to a library a couple of years ago, couldn't find a book I wanted. That doesn't mean that libraries are bad. Sure. That just means that the library I went to didn't have the book I was wanting. Yeah, YouTube's just a platform. And people fill that platform with their created content for better or for worse. And I think for better, for the most part. There's so much information there. You can learn so much on how to do things from YouTube. I mean, for instance, uh, how to tie a tie is one of my favorite things on YouTube. <laughs> because I only put a tie on like once a year for some sort of fancy masquerade ball or something like <laughs> oh, that. Oh, I used to have a printout that I would keep like near a mirror on the couple of occasions that I would have mm -hmm. to wear one of those chokehold things i can't stand i them. hate wearing them so oh, yeah. i don't do it i think the funniest thing i ever saw someone look on youtube for was how to write a check <laughs> it's there though right like, it, it's, it's, there. it's there he and you know it was a yeah it was a former you know former friend of mine um had no idea how to write a check i mean i don't blame him i mean i right. have only written so many checks myself but it was well if you go to walmart so they don't even make you write the check anymore you sign it and they put it in their machine sure, yeah and, they and verify it prints funds. all the info on it wow so, yeah, I, I think that uh, to be negative toward YouTube is really unfair. I think that that's an amazing platform that has more content than you could ever consume. I mean, there's more content uploaded per minute on YouTube than you could probably watch in a lifetime, yes. from what I understand. There's a constant stream of new content coming there. And, you know, some of it's useless crap, uh, but the, there's a lot of really amazing information out there so toll free number here tonight 855 450 free let's continue here with the being a good citizen Bar. it's a list of nine points we've been through about four of them at this point so i'm going to pick up on number five here being a good citizen also means obeying the laws of the community oh yeah we already did those ones when they this is the one where they tell you that laws are made to help you right keep because you safe th there's there's a law that says don't murder ian and nobody's murdered you yet so therefore that law is working number six good citizens take part in their community they give to the poor they help clean parks they keep up to date on current events. Then they help whenever they can. It's important also to conserve our natural resources, using energy wisely, treating animals fairly, and picking up trash all help to give back to our country. Uh, you know, there's not much objectionable in that one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with helping people. Number seven, someday you'll be given the right to vote. This is an honor. By using this right, you can take part in the government. Even now, you can find out about politics. Your parents and teachers are good sources of information. You can ask them how they feel about the government. And you can also ask them questions about candidates in an election. Gathering information will help you make decisions when you can vote. I wonder what kind of uh, situations that would come up if daddy's a Democrat and mom's a Republican. Well, either way, they're only probably going to know a little bit of information about the Republican and Democrat candidates. Sure. They're not really going to mm. know anything about the, the Green Libertarian Party. Party, the Green Party, the Reform Party, the Independence Party, the Independent candidates, mm. or any of the sure, other yeah. number of candidates that may or may not be on the ballot where you live. And they're also probably not going to know the minutia of some of the ballot initiatives and the thing that I really sort of took uh, took exception to in here is that when you vote, you are you know letting your decision be known, and you're affecting the way government works. Well, no, you're you know, if you do vote on election day, then certainly you're letting your opinion be known at that exact moment to whomever counts the ballot. Not really, because it's a secret ballot, so no one really knows what your opinion is. Well, they, is. they don't know what your specific opinion right. is, but they know what an opinion is on that one ballot when they're counting it. And then you're not directly affecting, for the most part, what the government does. You're helping decide you know, which candidate is going to wind yeah. up making decisions on your behalf in the future. And... It, it also still the whole thing of, you know, ask your parents and teachers for more information on government. Yeah, yeah. they're going to tell you you need government. Government's good. What do you think this teacher who is issuing this propaganda would have to say if one of the students came back the next day and said, what can you tell me about third parties like the libertarians? What's a libertarian? Oh, you mean Glenn Beck. 
Sarah Palin. Sarah oh, Palin. Yeah, oh, I, I heard Johnson that one guy, time that Sarah Johnson Palin's guy. a libertarian. I'm sorry, you both talked over top. Oh, oh, I was saying, oh yeah, that Gary Johnson guy. <laughs> I don't think the teacher would probably even know that. They're probably not. <laughs> I don't know how many libertarians even know who Gary jo- <laughs> Gary Johnson is. Good question. Uh, but it would be interesting to hear what the teacher's response to that would be. Number uh, number eight, when you begin to work, you will have to pay taxes. Oh, taxes yes. help run our country. Roads, schools, police forces, firefighters, and government workers are all paid from taxes. Roads are paid for from fuel taxes, schools for the most part, property, property taxes. Tax, yeah. mm-hmm. Not working taxes. Police are generally paid for from the revenue that they collect. As well as tax. local property taxes. Firefighters in a lot of places are volunteer. Uh, yep, 855, 450 free. There's one more to come. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also Explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe ten grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-981-7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-981-7590. 800-981-7590. Get out of debt now. 800-981-7590. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com
You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but enough time for you with your calls and thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. It's actually been a, a good night for uh, taking your calls here this evening. It's been so good we've managed to not even get away from the first piece of show prep that we brought in uh, tonight, which includes this being a good citizen uh, it's a, a worksheet or uh, info propaganda sheet sent home to elementary school students and the Fairfield Public School District uh, provided by edhelper.com. There's nine points on the sheet. We've gone through eight of the nine. We'll continue it here in a moment. And then if we get the chance, uh, I think, Danica, you had the story about the Palm Beach Libertarians. Yes. Is that right? I would like to talk about that as a follow up to the story we've been covering here uh, off and on about the 90 year old man who's been cited for feeding the hung, uh, the hungry and the homeless in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. But uh, first, we'll continue here. Your thoughts are certainly welcome. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. In fact, uh, I have just today to the Free Keen YouTube channel, speaking of YouTube, uh, to the Free Keen YouTube channel, have uploaded the director's cut edition of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. That wasn't online before? No, it was not, actually. It's actually been something I've had the intention of releasing. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. So Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree is a feature-length documentary film that was shot primarily here in our very own Keene, New Hampshire, with Derek J, who is our Monday night co-host on Free Talk Live. He is the subject of the film, although a number of other activists, including myself, uh, make multiple appearances in the movie. You get to see me arrested uh, and, and actually in jail. You get to see me in jail in, in the movie. Um, so it's fun. It's a fun movie. It's a lot of fun to watch it. It's kind of a tearjerker at some points as oh, yeah. well. It's funny. It's sad. And it really, you know, a movie that can make you feel different emotions during its runtime, I think, is a success. I'm really proud of it. You can go to VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can watch the original theatrical release, the very first version of the film. The director's cut came out about six months later on DVD, and uh, and it's only been on DVD up until that point, although we did release the image of the DVD publicly, so those who wanted to download the DVD rather than pay for it could do that. So it's not that it hasn't been available but it has just not been it on YouTube. It hasn't been on YouTube. Right. So it's actually the first time that you can see it in HD on YouTube, because obviously if you're watching it on DVD, you don't get to watch it in HD because that's standard definition uh, on DVD. But anyway, now you don't have to buy the DVD to see the director's cut. You can just go and watch it. Uh, it is on the Free Keen YouTube channel. It's so new, I haven't had a chance to blog about it yet, so that's the only way that you can go and, and pull it up. But... It's obviously not the full director's cut in that, you know, the director's cut DVD has commentary tracks. Mm -hmm. So you can't get commentary tracks on YouTube, at least not that I know of. And so that's not available on the YouTube version, just the director's cut itself. And also I'm just now actually as we speak uploading the question and answer session. So when we did the theatrical premiere of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree back in 2012 at Keene Cinemas here in town, uh, we had a Q&A session afterwards. It was about a half hour long with Derek J., myself, and Bo Davis, who's the editor of the film. So the producers of the movie uh, talked to an audience of about 50. We had about 50 people come out at 9 in the morning to watch the, the premiere of the movie, which was a lot of fun. And there were some really great questions asked. And so that's going to be online here shortly as well. So watchfreekeen.com, and I will post both of those videos here at some point, and you can easily access them. You can, of course, still watch the theatrical edition of the film and the Film Fest edition. That's a 60-minute version rather than a 90-minute version. The uh, director's cut has some different footage in it, slightly different editing, and a, a, a completely different soundtrack. The director's cut, we needed to make a royalty-free soundtrack because that's the version we had yeah. to put out on DVD for obvious copyright reasons. So now you have three versions of uh, Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree from which Four. to choose. Oh, you've got one There's that you the put out. There's the 10-second version oh, that man. I put out. <laughs> so if you don't have an hour or one and a half hours... Yeah. There's a 10-second version that summarizes it very nicely and succinctly. So if you search for Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree 10-second version, you'll yes. find that? So yeah, there you go. Four versions now of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree for you to choose from, and all of them are free to you. So go and check them out. Uh, watch the original at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com, and of course grab the DVD. 
at order.victimlesscrimespree.com. By the way, that DVD not only is packed with two commentary tracks, one of them is just Derek J sort of alone watching his own movie and commenting on it, uh, which is interesting. And then also there's myself, Derek J, and Bo Davis. We all sat and watched the, the movie together and did a commentary track. So those are a couple cool things you can only get on the DVD. And also the DVD has almost eight hours of bonus content, the original activist footage. The movie Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree was essentially cobbled together with you know, activist footage that we had shot over a year. Yeah, there's worth lots of, time. of footage there. There's a lot of source footage, and much of it didn't make it into the movie. So we threw it all on the disc uh, in digital format as bonus content on the DVD. And there's more as well. So go and check it out. Order.victimlesscrimespree.com will take you right to the Amazon link. In fact, it's uh, it's less than nine bucks right now on Amazon. And what a great time to order a copy of it, considering it's the holiday shopping season. It's you know that's about to officially kick off here after Thanksgiving with Black Friday and Cyber it Monday. It kicked off before. Oh, uh, yeah. True. Halloween. After Halloween. I, I yeah. walked into Home Depot before Halloween, and immediately to the left, they had big, giant, inflatable Christmas trees and snowmen and all these other things that I am just thinking none of this should even be on display until after Turkey Gobble Day. Now, it's, it's typical that it happens after Halloween. That's it when it typical. really kicks This was before. Halloween. Yeah. And every year it seems like that they're pushing it even further it and further. Seems like Fourth that, of July it, and yeah. Christmas begins. I don't uh, think that's true, Danica. Not, having having worked in retail, I don't think it's true that it's No, I've worked earlier. in retail and grocery and it's not quite that early, but it you know, definitely right before Halloween you start seeing a little bit of sand, a little bit of it's reindeer true. coming yeah. in. You know, definitely slightly before Halloween, but it seems like every year. It gets a little bit earlier. So perfect Christmas gift uh, for those of you looking for, for those of you with liberty lovers in your life or even people who don't get freedom, uh, Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree would be a very affordable and fun gift. So go and grab it at order.victimlesscrimespree.com. Number nine on the list of nine points on how to be a good citizen. And uh, point of fact, this is listed as reading comprehension by edhelper.com. That's right. Number nine is being a member of our country is a wonderful privilege. When you work to be a good citizen, everyone benefits. And so this whole thing was just a long list of why government is so great and how laws, they claim laws help you and that government gives you rights. And there's all kinds of just terrible misinformation in this propaganda. And I bring it up tonight just— And that being a good citizen means that you do whatever the government tells you. What you're told to do. Pay your taxes. Uh, So it's all in there. It's all wrapped up in this, you know, nine-point sheet. And this is an example of what— the youth of America are being fed in the government school system. And probably in some private schools, too. Likely, yes. Um, Mm -hmm. And you as a parent, you know, one of the things about sending your kids to government school is like, oh, well, now the government's taking care of them. I don't have to think about uh, education anymore. And if you're not paying attention to what your kids are learning in government school, you may be really shocked by this. Now, I'm not shocked by this. We've seen info like this before. This isn't the first news story like this, or this isn't the first you know, propaganda that's been sent home with kids at government school. So it wasn't a shock to me. But there may be people out there listening who are surprised by this, and you shouldn't be. Government school teaches kids about government. They teach kids about how government's good, and the government's necessary, and the government is right. And if you if that's what you want your kids to learn, then, well, you're sending them to the right place. But if you want them to learn about freedom and why freedom is a good idea and what liberty is really all about, well, you're not going to get taught that in government school. No. So I would recommend you get your kids out as soon as you possibly can. Let's go to your calls. James in Arizona, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. James in Arizona, going once. James in Arizona, going twice. You know, maybe he's having some technical difficulties. What's the latest in Fort Lauderdale, Danica? Can you have a? Can you do a quick yeah, recap? Uh, I was just actually thinking I can probably sum this up pretty well, but uh, we all know what's been going on with the poor 90-year-old man that has been constantly getting harassed by police just just by feeding the hungry. That's right. Uh, he's not hurting anyone. He's you know hasn't given anyone food poison as far as I'm he's concerned. He's fed people for almost two and a half decades now. So. Out there. So the Libertarian Party of Palm Beach County, which is interesting to hear about the Libertarian Party because 
I didn't know about this until I went to Porkfest, but I guess the, there's a large libertarian party in Florida. Um, they have made plans really. to feed the hungry in the city of Fort Lauderdale without asking permission, and they're scheduled to do this on December 17th. With the 90-year-old gentleman or on their own volition? Uh, it says here— Is this it, a press release from them? Where are you getting this from? Uh, this is from independentpoliticalreport.com. Okay. Um, it does not specifically say if they are going to be doing it in allegiance with the gentleman. Interesting. Uh, but it sounds like that they are inspired by what he was doing well, and wanting to do the same. I am also excited that uh, libertarians outside of New Hampshire are going to— uh, commit civil disobedience. This is a fairly rare thing uh, that is happening. I wouldn't necessarily qualify the libertarians in Florida as a large group. I don't think they're any larger today than they probably were a decade ago. Uh, but nonetheless, I'd love to hear what happens. So hopefully they'll keep us in the loop, and we'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com. Nothing. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in, Creative Commons. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Canaan Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, November 14th, 2014. Silver is trading at $15.36 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,151 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $407. Antiwar.com reports the next time your cell phone connects to what it thinks is a cell tower, there's decent odds it's actually connecting to a Justice Department airplane in the region designed to spy on you. New reports out of the Wall Street Journal say that the program has been active since 2007 and relies on Boeing-made dirt boxes that trick cell phones into giving up their identification numbers and location. Officials are refusing so far to comment on the extent of the program as in keeping with their long-standing effort to keep such shady activities secret, but those familiar with it say that the routine flights cover most of the U.S. population. Nominally, the flights are run by the Justice Department's U.S. Marshal Service as a way to search for criminal suspects. In practice, it is the mother of all fishing expeditions, with each flight netting tens of thousands of cell phones' data. The surveillance program takes advantage of cell phones' automatic connection to the closest strongest tower. Since the dirt box is in a plane instead of in orbit, it is naturally much closer and stronger and catches all cell phones in the area. There is no known protection against such surveillance at this time. 
FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The French news agency AFP reports the head of the Catalan government held talks with other senior politicians on Thursday on whether to hold early elections in the Spanish region after a symbolic weekend independence vote. Arthur Moss of the center-right CIU party, which has ruled Catalonia since 2011, discussed the possibility with the head of the left-wing opposition ERC, which props up his government. The ERC, which leads in opinion surveys, is pushing for early elections in the wealthy northeastern region. Elections were not due before 2016. If pro-independence parties win a majority of the seats in the region assembly, the ERC wants them to make a unilateral declaration of independence. Of the 5.4 million voters aged over 16 who were authorized to vote, 1.86 million favored independence. Moss declared the vote